Make a list, write it down in time. Sometimes we need it all, sometimes we sign to a world where the center is never aligned. Make a move, take it back, it's mine. Gathering drops and filling the ocean of time. Ecstasy, sights and sounds are forgotten and clear. Ships bells, golden rings, fantasy breaking me from the open shore. I will. From the open shore, I have learned to fly, soaring past the great divide. Voices that surface seem to call out all the lies. There's a hidden door on the ocean floor. Do these dreams belong to me? If it calls my name, am I awake?
Hello everyone, hello, how's it going? I hope we're all doing well. Are we ready? Are we ready for more Limbus? I hope so. I hope everyone is ready, because I'm ready. I'm ready, you're hopefully ready. We're ready. Harpoons are ready. Waterproofs are on. Let's hope so. <laughs> How are we all doing? Are we all doing okay? Are we, all, are we all having a nice weekend? Are we all doing well? Are we prepared? I've got plenty of fluids to keep me going because I've heard this is quite a long British rodeo jump scare. Wah! But hello, hello, how's it going? Hello, Ryuju. Hello, TB. I'm hyped to find out more about a new character. Ooh, okay, okay. It's a song by Mastodon called Blood and Thunder. There was a meme comic made, but yes, because I think I've heard of it because of the comic, but I did know there was a song. But hello, hello, Mixel. Hello, Prognosis. Hello, hello, Adriano. Hello, Zaloy. Hello, completely. Hello, Plague. It's time for Degacha. Hello, Bloop Bloop. Hello. Hello, Cube in a Box. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Block of Brick. Hey, hello, Miklash. Hello, Micro. All right, everyone already knows the rules. No spoilers for week two of Canter 5 content. Otherwise, I will turn you into a chocolate figurine, apparently. Oh, that's exciting. Hello, Black Mo. Hello, Baby Yumong. Hello, hello. Has everyone sharpened your harpoons? Good question. Hey, Spot Liz, how are you doing? We're not ready. You're not ready. Okay. Do you need a minute? <laughs> Just, do you need a second? Yeah. And then you'll be ready. I'm super hyped. Also, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, Wandering Wordsmith. Hello. Aim directly at his crooked bur brow. Definitely not ready. No, I'm not ready either. I'm scared. How's sinking in your chair today? It's already started doing it. I moved my camera because my chair keeps sinking and... I basically just decided to leave it here for now. I think I'm going to have to get a new chair, which was not what I was hoping for, but I think we're going to have to, because otherwise we're just going to end up with a new camera angle. And I don't, I, it's fine, but I like being it's a bit higher. This is going to be a wild ride. I'm so excited. Quick, engage the streamer look. Hello, C-Lock. Hello. Hello, Shivin. Hello. Oh, man. But yeah, I shall watch my hot cocoa. Oh, I've just, I've just finished a cup of tea. I was like, right, go have a cup of tea before stream. So I've just been sat having a cup of tea while I've been replying to all your, to your comments. This is the first time I've been called completely without any whack to be found. Do you, do you want me to put, like, say completely whack every time? Would you prefer me to call you whack? Like, what would you prefer? Just let me know. Can we get much higher? I don't know. Sinking a Limbus reference? I mean, a little bit, but also the fact that the chair keeps sinking. <laughs> Honestly, I just give myself an office chair, the nice in my opinion. Yeah, well, I, I like this chair, but yeah, it's like, I like my dad got it for me, which is really sweet for my birthday. But yeah, it's, uh, I think I've been sat in it too much because it's broken. <laughs> First of all, um, oh yeah, I'm gonna expect same things in the stream. The part two has been interesting and surprising stuff. Be prepared for some stuff in this part. Oh, I'm prepared. Already can't wait for part three. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad it's good. I'm excited for part three. I am also excited for part three. I am very excited. Uh, we're masters of the oceans wide, custodians of rest re relentless tide. That's a song, right? That sounds like song lyrics. Sinking deluge. Eager to pull for dawn, yes. So I've been doing a little bit of mirror dungeon because I obviously used all my pulls last stream to try to get Gregor. Uh, didn't get Gregor, unfortunately. Didn't get my my twin hook pirate. Although I was talking to my friend about it and I accidentally called him twink hook, which <laughs> I was like, that's not what I meant. But I don't know if you could refer to Gregor as a twink. I don't think that's the right description, but yeah, I just thought that was quite funny. I thought I'd mention that, but yeah, so no. So maybe we'll get him today by accident. Who knows? But yeah, I do want to get the new Don idea if I can. Am I probably going to get it? Probably not, but we're really going to give it a go. Also, before we start, we'll just put some tunes on in the background. Before we start, I just want to thank everyone that gave my Limbus video a chance. So I released a new Limbus video. If you haven't seen it, don't go watch right now, but please watch it after the stream. <laughs> um, well, basically, I tried to describe all of the Limbus characters kind of like story and who they are in like one sentence. I included some memes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed making the video. I do want to make more content like that just because it was really fun to make and it's nice to have a bit of variety in some of the content. So thank you to everyone that gave it a go and watched it. I really appreciated it. But yeah, if you if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. <laughs> How has Mirror Dungeon 2 Heart been going now that you have that unlocked? I that's a good question. That is a good question. I think I like I don't I haven't really given Mirror Dungeon like the hard one much of a go because I've just been trying to prep for it, really. So basically with my Mirror Dungeon stuff, I'm basically just doing the normal and trying to unlock all the starter buffs 
to do the hard so i haven't tried the hard yet because basically it says that like don't do the hard unless you've got everything all the start buffs active and i don't i'm nearly there i'm very close like look i've only got a few more left i'm getting very close but i'm trying to get all these unlocked first to give myself the best chance i think i want to do a stream of it because i've never done it before but yeah the limbus video is very fun to watch oh i'm glad you enjoyed it thank you so much i love the limbus video oh thank you one for lobotomy library oh like do a video for them i would love to i would love to i mean i could i could maybe do one for lob but the problem is is that like the lobotomy and library are kind of tied so maybe i'll do one for like all of it once i finish library um gregory's not a twink he's a short king my cockroach boy got tall russian babe <laughs> you need to look at a good team yeah yeah how about is real for tea girl all the buffs yeah which is what i'm working towards at the moment uh isn't n faust is a better free sanity for everyone true that is true um it's possible without other buffs though you can definitely do hard with normal stuff just harder but doable but not as hard oh okay see i was imagining it was going to be like really hard do you want for the lobotomy separa it's not a bad shout not a bad shout i do have some other stuff to do for lob corp first so maybe i'll do that first and then i can do it but regardless i really appreciate you guys appreciate you guys giving it a go there are going to be more kind of videos like that coming up in the future i do want to do what like obviously of other things but yeah thank you very much i do really appreciate you guys checking it out because i know it is different kind of content to what i usually do uh we can go for hard even if you don't unlock anything okay okay good to know yeah okay i mean you don't really need all the unlocks okay maybe i've got enough of them then maybe i've got enough maybe we'll, maybe we'll try it at some point without then hmm. okay um honestly some emergent hard recommendations are bogus definitely don't need all of them active got ya you just need a good unga bunga team well i mean that it's i'm very mixed on that so how many sometimes it's great and sometimes my team is like <laughs> no <laughs> um oh yeah what part of canto 5 are you at so we are at basically where part one left off so 19 i want to say so it sounds like we're about halfway through so basically we haven't played any of the new stuff that's released i can't believe you've, you haven't been doing the mdh grind save so much time thoughts and prayers for your suffering <laughs> thank you <laughs> love the pm bits thank you so much i appreciate it what about you um field are you all caught up now the release hard mode before you can even finish all the buffs right got ya got ya can't wait for the inevitable georgie ham 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 <laughs> vlog one day one day i hope so fair enough yeah right so what we're gonna do first is i've only got one temple to do unfortunately we might have enough for a second temple at the end of the stream so we're gonna give this a go because if you guys want to see the state of my dons that's all i've got for don look at that look right don is like such a good character look at this i've got no egos and i've got i've literally got one id that is it how awful is this oh i'm a newer player but i've seen my pilot oh i see oh how are you liking it so far fields you're gonna roll for yeah then yeah the new dawn yeah absolutely rolls a while oh really oh okay that's good to know wandering wordsmith okay honestly i only do the hard md until i get to the last floor and then whatever happens happens right interesting how do you like the mermaids and the whales of limbus oh i'm loving the lore so far no worries i like lwky no worries take time take time the vlog the vlog the vlog is always going to be there don't worry all oh, that hurts yeah oh you need don't i know look at this disgusting how dare they what are you doing right and then look at the amount of hong Lu's i have what is this what is this i love hong Lu bay but what is this absolutely disgraceful like i might have nearly every single hong lu like and then dons it's just like nah you're not having any <laughs> oh you beat chrome yesterday nice uh yeet funds adore just buy more gacha currency no the only thing i'm buying in this game because i do like to play my gachas free to play is i do buy the battle pass in this game because because of how long it lasts it's very much worth it um the hong Lu's are plenty i know I know, ridiculous. Middle Dawn will actually help you greatly if you can get a two. I use warp, but struggled. Okay. For me, it's the Heathcliffs. Oh, there's always one, isn't there? See, my Hong Lu does like me. Would you call Hong Lu a himbo? I don't want to call Hong Lu anything yet because I want to see Hong Lu's chapter because I, I have my opinions of Hong Lu. My Ryoshu is also quite bad and otis is better now that i've got this one but my otis is pretty horrific as well so yeah so these three just massively elude me i got you got every single one it's hung all over <laughs> as a person that's every single id seeing them all at level one is very painful i know i know yeah but you, think, you gotta remember i actually had look i've only been playing this game for like 
four months, I think. So yeah, I've not actually been playing this game that long. I actually realized that the other day I was like, oh, it's favoritism in the gacha is, is I'm Hong Glossy. <laughs> That's great. I would call Hong Lu a trickster. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. Isn't himbo, isn't beefy, seems to be feigning a lot of his stupidity. Like I said in the thumbnail of my video, acting dumb, agreed. So we're gonna do one temple and then I'll probably do a temple at the end of the stream when I've got enough to do another one. Uh, if I get twin, twin hook pirate first mate Gregor, I will be happy, that's fine. Love, would love for my, my main man to come home, but I do need a Don, cause this is kind of ridiculous. Like I have quite a few Gregors, so yeah. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do one temple. Um, I keep getting Sinclair's. Please don't need this many of this boy. Sinclair likes you. It's, it's pretty good for months. Yeah, we've done all right, actually. We've done all right. Gregor and Rodian need the chaps dedicated to them to build them more. Yes. Well, that's the thing is that, like, I obviously this game is a gacha game. So, like, the story is going to keep going. So I don't think it's just going to be, like, one of each chapter about each of the characters and then it'll end either like we'll get to the point where we get all the stuff for the golden bow and something will happen and then we'll play the aftermath or we'll have another set of chapters where we'll revisit other characters yeah but guys streamer look incoming i hope so i hope so i have a horrible feeling it's not gonna be happen but we'll see what happens we might get lucky please 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 come on oh no unless unless it's a fake out which i doubt oh we got the mersault though i mean i mean of course we got the mersault i mean i'm glad because tattooed mersault is bae oh, oh we got two mersaults okay that's unfortunate that's fine we've got another temple it'll be okay i may not get don though i really need to get a don i might just have to buy one i think like from the dispenser we're gonna have to do something because like the lack of don is sad don is such a good character i mean having a lack of dons is ish I didn't get the Mersault. Oh no. No, look. I got really unlucky in my temple. It's it happens. I got a Throdian three star. Nice. This little event teased in the trailer that a lot of people in the city will die. Mm -hmm. Vigilus chapter, please. Vigilus chapter where he's playable. Yes. Yes. A club assault, yeah. <laughs> club club Mersault from the club. Love, love, love that. Love that man. Right, yep, so we've got the cool map, we follow it all along, and then we are, I will say this is, I, like, I love the layout of this map, I think this one's really cool. Okay, how's your resources? It's actually pretty good, I've not done anything with them yet, so we're pretty good. If you want to buy a Don, get the R Corp one. Oh, okay, why the, is that just the best Don? I keep getting three stars that I already had. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Warped on one of the strongest IDs. Oh, okay, okay. At least you got the shards. Yeah, when you start using crates and banners. True. Got middle done with shards. Nice. Had to refresh stream it froze for me for some reason. Is the stream everyone else? So okay for everyone else? Both banners and 20 pools. Pretty lucky again. Nice. Fiery, you, you tend to get pretty lucky. You're pretty lucky. GG's. Uh, Verge chapter would go insane considering colors are just your average Shonen character. Oh. Oh, I need to know more. <laughs> I'm so excited to read the Vigilla stuff. I'm so excited. If he just plays Verge, I want him to be lore accurate and just absolutely stomp, even if it's in balance, just for the one battle. Same. Stream did a little sort of, but it's okay now. Okay, stream's good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I hope so. Now I'm skipping the banners, waiting for the rumored-ish ID. Fair. That's fair. I think, yeah, I was going to say it must be, yeah, like so people saying it's probably something spoilery. It must be something spoilery because usually they would have released a some kind of trailer by now i think but yeah i think people are hoping for farm farm watch which i'm hoping so but yeah i don't know if we're gonna get that okay cruise party we finally made it out of the waves and into karma seas so i briefly wondered if we can start smooth sailing towards the coordinates and that's when i noticed a stationary cruise ship floating in the middle of a lake Ugh, there's no new id update this week it must be next week then i got middled on first single pull and yet <laughs> At least you got the Don. But yeah, I would really like the Pyro Gregor as well. Oh, I would like them as well. It's going to spoil the story, yeah. No farm watch. I just don't know if it's going to happen. It's going to be a chapter five ID. Yeah. Just set my fate. I'm a small whale for this game. Fair. Fair. I will shard the new Ishmael ID, even if I have to spend a week in the MD mind. I don't have to. <laughs> Next battle is probably going to be a story character that we didn't get a tease for. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. I mean, there's a couple of characters that I'm looking forward to meeting, and I'm kind of like wondering when they're going to appear. Do you have no clue how terrible my look is? Oh no. How bad is it, Cube? How bad? How bad? 
At least I'm not the only one with wrong luck on my banner pulls. Yeah, it happens though. This game is pretty generous though. You do tend to, like, it's not too bad. And the fact that you get shards and then you can use those to buy characters is pretty good. Right, let's do it. Farm watch Gregor when? Still coping? You might be copium-ing for a long time. I'll see him oh, right. Let's, let's get into it. Oh. Uh, I had to, we've been getting pretty de decent into the story where they start dropping terms you learn Ruiner mid game, so it's pretty advised to at least get the start of Endgame in Ruiner before Limba spoils you. Right, Peppy, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. The reason why is because I want to avoid getting spoiled in Limbus. So I would rather play it and then not know what it means and then play Library of Runa and be like, oh, that came up in Limbus. I would rather do that than rush through Library of Runa just and then like have to sit on this and potentially get spoiled. That's the only reason why I'm not rushing through the library because this game I'm way more likely to get spoiled on than Runa. So I can appreciate why, but just got to be careful because this game is like it because of because i play it and because i like a lot of photos and i interact with people from the community it pops up on like my timelines a lot on my youtube a lot so like it, i'm so much more likely to get spoiled on this game so just got to be careful this place peak okay right we're gonna get into it we're gonna we're gonna play let's do it oh oh i'm gonna change my thumbnail after stream to that so pretty oh so pretty. Oh. Okay. To burst myself. I happen upon Ishmael's musing around the time we were on our way to the elusive Lobotomy Court branch of Great Lake. It's been a while since our last disastrous incident. Oh, I feel like they're I feel like they're teasing. I feel like they're teasing that Ish is gonna get distorted. It's gonna distort. I just have a feeling that yeah, and like reflect. Interesting! Actually, B Clash, that's a really good point. Cause like same again, Yi Sang had this thing where obviously the mirror version was another version, but it was almost like staring through a mirror and seeing like a different version of yourself. That's fascinating. They're using this imagery again for Ishmael. Oh, love it. Love the, yeah, but also distortion reference. Also, the reflection is the water. So is this hinting that Ishmael might just, oh my God. Oh my God, this might be hinting at shit that's going to happen. Oh, I feel like this is very, um... What's the word for it? Uh, like, you know, when you get hinted at something before it happens, it feels like that. Even from a distance, it was evident that Ishmael was gazing down at her own reflection in the water. I rested my wandering feet and decided to watch her for a moment. I wanted to see what Ishmael was looking at together. Oh, there's Dante. Foreshadowing, that's the one. Oh, oh, is that her? Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, I want to see what's, wait, what? Wait, so is, so if that's her, is that her in, is that water? Is that her in wreckage? Oh, she looks so, oh. Oh my god, she looks so devastated. Shorthead ish. Okay. Ishmael woke from her introspection and straightened herself. She showed towards us. Yeah, we saw this in 4.5. Yeah, it was from like a different angle though, right? Oh, is that meant to be what that is? Battlestand? Okay, I'm not gonna say it because last stream 
I accidentally said something that happened in the book and people were like, you spoiled us. So I'm going to try and avoid that. <laughs> but I know what that means. I know what that means from the book. Oh, man. Interesting. Interesting. Do you care about distortion detective spoilers? Not particularly because I don't know anything about it. So as long as I don't have context, we should be fine. Same with like Library of Runa. Just don't point out that it's from Library of Runa because then I don't have context and then it's fine. It's not really a spoiler. If I if I bring it up again when I'm playing Library of Runa, it's fine. It's I've got to link them all together somehow. I'm not. It's OK. Like, it's fine. And <laughs> then... 세 시간인 듯하다. 다음 호수로 갈 때까지 세 시간을 기다려야 하는데. Oh, it's been like eight to ten years, right? 관리자님이 요전번처럼 파도에 맞서게 허락만 해주신다면 그럴 필요는 없겠지만. No, Otis. The losses were worse when I anticipated. And I remember what Ishmael said. We were extremely lucky. The waves that came for us up was a relatively manageable one. I hope you like Cosmic Horror. I do. I do. But yeah, it, yeah, the, the, yeah, okay. I uh, get it. Thanks to Otis, who quickly abandoned the idea, the sinners and I could observe this new vessel with somewhat lighter hearts. <laughs> I freaking love Don Quixote. She's she's just always oh, she's so good at just bringing the mood up. A cruise ship? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Amazing. Even from this distance, I could see the colorful balloons and banners decorating the ship. Oh wow, this is so pretty. What does that say? Him, himino? Himono, maybe? Oh, I don't know. None. More Don Ted. Party! <laughs> Party. <laughs> Too many Tom voice overdose. I love it. Him, him, mini? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Do you remember the trailer? I don't remember that from the trailer, no. But also, it's okay if I don't, because it's kind of nice to just sort of like be like, oh no, I don't remember this, and they'd be like, yeah, this was hinted at the trailer. I could fall asleep peacefully. <laughs> Hope you like loud music. <laughs> I just love how done Vigilus is. He's so done. Uh, hopefully, it's none of that mermaid <laughs> ice cream that we heard about last time that was just like disturbing AF. Rodia and Don Quixote both shot twinkling glances in my direction, then at Vigilus, then back at me. Vigilus shrugged. Whatever we decided to do here was none of his business. Well, maybe they can tell us something about the nearby Lobotomy Corp branch, or maybe they know something about the LCCB agents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's so good hey crystal how's it going from no power oh i hope that i hope your time was okay i think the trailer focus on part one i was gonna say i don't remember it from it but maybe maybe i just me not remembering don quixote was rhythmically swaying her shoulders maybe she's trying to imitate the marlin dance she glimpsed back at the club <laughs> Oh wait, music! The faintly blaring music was the only response from the ship. <laughs> oh my god, Grandpa Gregor! Just like, back in my day, we didn't have these loud musics. <laughs> I guess we can quickly stop by and ask them a few questions. Greg or Grandpa? Love it. We had three hours to kill anyway, might as well make ourselves useful and collect some intel. Ishmael shot a glance at Vigilus before staring at the floor wordlessly. Old geezer. 
그렇게 생각하셨다면. Why does Gregor's voice sound different? I think he was like speaking a lot louder than he usually does because usually Gregor's quite, Gregor's usually got quite a kind of subdued kind of tone. But I think because of how loud the music was, I think he had to like speak up. So we don't really, you don't really hear Gregor yell that much to be fair. So I think that's why. 건너가죠. Way to make retirement home. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! I need more interaction between these two. 이렇게 하기로 했을 뿐이에요. Yeah, like Gregor was speaking at the top of his lungs. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I need more interaction between Ishmael and Heath and Heathcliff. 이건 뒤집어질 염려는. Poor Ishmael. 구명조끼나 튜브는 안 넣어도 될까요? By the time all 13 of us squeezed our way in, the skiff was absolutely packed and precariously swaying. Some sinners' faces darkened with concern. Don't worry, guys. Even if you all drown, I'll bring you guys right back. All right as rain. Sure. I stand by Ishcliff. I stand there. I stand there right with you. I love Gregor's VA and the little changes he does with the voices. Yeah, he's so good. So good. J just kidding. <laughs> In a manner that was extremely out of character, Vigilis waved at us. Does he know something that we don't? <laughs> What's Greg? Yeah, Gregor's 35, yeah. But then to be fair, like obviously with the way that Greg grew up and stuff, he's got he's not gonna be used to all of this stuff. And I doubt he went out and like partied and any of that kind of stuff. So like he's just gonna be very inexperienced, probably not used to it to it, so. We boarded the cruise ship to gather some intel, though it's littered with gaudy decorations. I don't see anyone on board. Something about this whole affair is creeping me out. Oh, yeah, and he must change my thumbnail. Does he know? Out curious chat, if the Limbus crew played Among Us, who would win? That's a great question. I don't know. Um... I feel like I feel like there would be a few of them would be kind of like bad at it. So for example, like I think Sinclair would probably get taken out quite quickly. I think Don maybe would as well. Like I could see like Otis being quite good at it and like Ishmael being quite good. Maybe I, mm, Yi Sang would probably be quite good and Faust as well. But yeah, there's a few of them. Mersol maybe, yeah, Mersol too. I thought Greg was in thought, thought, no. Greg's one of the only ones that I think they actually confirmed his age, which is 35. So he is 35. Because, yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit older than me, but, yeah. Always would suck since she's always sus. Yeah, but I think that's part of it is, like, she would always keep her eyes behind her back. So, like, no, you, it'd be hard to, like, sneak up on her because she wouldn't trust any... Like, I don't think she'd trust anyone either. Always, yeah. Faust would win because Faust... No, yeah, maybe Faust would win. But just would be voted out. <laughs> the Heathcliff would be voted out because when they accused him, he'd just go off and they'd just kick him out. Heath with his look is just going to be gone real quick. I think Hong Lu would be voted out and Hong Lu would like smarter than it wouldn't be him either. But maybe, but maybe Hong Lu, because same again, I think Hong Lu's acted up a bit. Yi Sang's 29. Yeah, same again. I think, yeah. Love of God, don't let's, yeah, sorry, I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see anyone on the deck. Oh, ready? <laughs> I can tell you right now, if they ever did English VA for this, I do not know who they would get to do Don that could do it as well as this. Like, it's so good. Who just goes, yeah, <laughs> it's just mint. The VA is so good. Yep, <laughs> I'm oh, It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. The gremlin energy is unmatched. They'd have to get a real gremlin VA, 100%. Oh, oh they've got some such good music. Numerous liquor bottles and half-eaten food were strewn about haphazardly all over the deck. Oh, they've even got like mist. This is a very fancy party. Oh, oh no. Oh, 
Don Quixote running on sheer excitement for a party scuttled to the cabins. Oh, Progs... Do you know what, Prognosis? That... I was thinking about this today. That is one of the reasons I love this game. I completely agree with you. It's so nice to have, like, adult characters that are, like, grounded, but very, I guess in a way, kind of dysfunctional, but relatable at the same time. Like, it's not all just, like, 16-year-olds with magical powers and, like, one adult character. It's so nice to have, like, a group of adult characters just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> like, it's so good. Like, it's one of the reasons I love this game. It's the club theme. I was gonna say, is it? I was about to say, it sounds... Yeah. I cannot think of any English dub for such quality of the limbers I'd be sold. I've seen a couple of comments from people being like, oh, I wish they did an English dub for this game, but I I really hope they don't. I, re I don't think it needs it. It's, it's probably one of the only gacha games where I'm like, it doesn't need it. You don't need it. And there goes our gremlin. <laughs> Real fancy them to have fog machines, definitely. Oh, is this a monster thing? Okay, this could be a monster thing. Not as not, well, yeah, not, not, not like grounded. I mean, like, relatable, oh. sorry, is what I mean. I mean, like, the characters are, like, relatable, you know? The youngest is, like, at least 20. Yeah, but then, like, a lot of them are older, you know? And as someone who is, like, 30, it is really nice having characters that are, like, closer to my age, because, like, adults do shit too. <laughs> Um, I want to say sick of teens and games out of me, yeah. It's it's nice having like adult characters, 100%. Heathcliff sta slammed his fist into the loudspeaker that's been blaring music this entire time. Oh, it's I decided to remain silent, the music was pretty loud. Mm. <laughs> 그러고 보니 지금 상황과 비슷한 이야기가 생각나네요. 유모가 해준 이야기가 있어. This whole can oh Honglu has just been Honglu is like I know my canto is coming up soon. Um it's not even for a while because I've got Heathcliff and then Don and Honglu is just drip feeding us this law. Can you stop? It's making me want Honglu's chapter. It's so annoying. Can I want an English job because then it'd be need to be able to hear it in a language I can understand, but Korean VAs are really good, yeah. It would have to be like really good English dub though like it'd have to be really really good and I just I don't know if it could be as good I just uh, yeah for my friend Tommy Limbus is probably the most forgiving gacha compared to oh yeah yeah the gacha is very forgiving um there's like very few kids in these games yeah from 20s to 50s mm -hmm. more Honglu lawn wait Don is Kanto 7 yeah isn't it isn't it is that not right I thought for some reason in my head I had it as Heathcliff and then Don Am I wrong? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm sure that then I think after isn't yeah Don's is Kanto seven. So isn't Honglu is Honglu eight? Is Honglu after that, or is it Ryoshi first and then Honglu? I'd for no dub of a bad dub. Yeah, after Heath. Yeah, yeah. Don Quixote returns with a dumbfounded expression on her face. Oh no, that's not good. I'm scared. Wait, it's confirmed. Well, it's technically yes because. It's the order that we met the characters in the beginning of the game. So yes, so the, they've done it in that order so far. Dawn is after Heathcliff, yeah. The Korean VA is so good, I hate somebody to default to using English dubs and get the wrong impression from a bad dub. Yeah, well, the thing is, the story's really good. It's just depending on how well they can do the dub. I just, yeah, like I said, I just don't really think it's... So Honglu is after Dawn, yeah. Ryoshi's not, okay. I thought, I thought it was around there somewhere, yeah, yeah. Wait, was that confirmed or leaked? Well, it's not... It's just the introduction order that they've followed so far. So unless they really go off course or something happens, that's what we're presuming so far. But we know Heathcliff is next. That has been confirmed. So that's all we know. Hey, Emerging Ninja, how's it going? No worries, completely back. No worries. Hope you're doing good. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, oh, ew, ew, what, with the balloons? Oh God, why am I getting like Pennywise clown vibes, right? Why is the music still gone so scary? Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Did you know Saltfair and Navis rerun is, co I do Crystal, it's coming out on the 28th. I'm ready, but not ready at the same time. The in-game announcement came out, yes. Also, which Limbus character has the most Riz? Good question. Uh, probably, well, we think, what were we saying? Who was it that we were saying has the most Riz? There was nothing there. Oh, no. Look at the background, G. Oh, my God. 
what is that? There is a big shot. I freaking knew it. Oh my god, Pennywise is coming for me. Oh my god. <laughs> we all float out here in the lake. Oh, Pennywise. No. I'm not dodgy. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Nothing there. But yeah, I, I feel like we were saying maybe Mersault, but. <laughs> I'm afraid. But Sinclair is gonna get older, and when Sinclair hits 30, they are gonna be an absolute Riz Lord, 100%. Can you increase game audio a bit? It sounds quite competitive. Like, oh, sure. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, of course I can. To be fair, I'll probably turn the background down just a little bit. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Heath does have a girlfriend. Well, actually, Finnick, we don't we don't have any of that confirmed yet. We've got hints at stuff, so we'll see. I did not know it's in the background when I played. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Dark, yes, it does have darkest dungeon vibes. Agreed. Faust got. I mean, to be fair, that's true. Faust, Faust could have. Yeah, it's fair. Faust kind of, you know, from what we are aware, you know, met most of them first. So, Murrah's Riz is canon is but nice. I oh do I want Heathcliff dressed as Santa because I think it'd be really funny. That's what I want. We do said in 4.5. Well, he it was implied, but it doesn't mean he has like a current girlfriend. Like his whole thing is about revenge, and based on the book, it's that's what it's going to be based about with Kathy. But we don't know that, so none of that's been massively confirmed. But there's no there's no confirmation that he has a current girlfriend because yeah kathy isn't his girlfriend going off with the heights he just wants her yeah yeah so yeah it's not quite oh it isn't any loud oh sorry one minute let me let me turn this one up then is that better he thinks canto is called the heartbreaking yep <laughs> yep oh she's crying oh no oh no i'm afraid yeah and the party is... Oh, that's really bad. What is it? Yeah, so it's possible that Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's going to be a creepy story. Let's just put the happy music back on. Oh, if you were in this fight, you would have to go to the hospital. 그런데 열려 있는 어떤 방에서 자꾸 쿵 쿵하는 소리가 들리길래 들어가 보았더니 that is the biggest mistake. If you if you guys do not watch horror movies or you ever end up in a horror scenario, if you hear noises, don't go in there. That is the 101 of horror movies. Don't go in there because you, that that's there's bad things in that room. Just leave and phone the police. <laughs> Make them go in. I think the music is slightly louder than G now. Oh my god. <laughs> the balance. The balance. I'm afraid. What? <laughs> oh, Sinclair who really left the room in such ship story. See, that's a mistake. Never go on your own. Never go on your own. What? <laughs> Hong Lu is absolutely the one that like watches horror movies and it does not phase. Does not phase him at all. Yeah, the thing with horror movies, no one knows they're in one. Yeah, until it's too late. Yeah. Oh, 
다시 살아 움직이는 시체의 이야기일 거로 생각했지만. Oh, zombies. Doesn't Sinclair wear gloves? I, I don't know. Maybe well, must have been sweating so much they sweat through the gloves. No squeedy effect, but ask his palms so sodden his wig since wearing gloves unless it's soaked through the gloves. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that is grim. 괜히 겁주기는 꼬맹이는 어디로 도망간 거야? Oh, I love how Rodian is like protective over Sinclair. I love that. I'll go find Sinclair. That's not a good idea either. Don't go off on your own. I'm not sure if Hong Lu's unfazed because they're headed or he's capable and holding back for some reason. Yeah, or he's some like kind of psycho and he just like likes, he, he like has enjoyed scaring him. Look how creepy this flipping part of the lake is. The next part looks a bit nicer. <laughs> <laughs> this part looks so creepy. I ran into the cabin to the ship in search of Sinclair, who fled from Hong Lu's scary tales. Thankfully, I was able to find him without much trouble, but... Okay, great. Um, yeah, let's do... Uh, did I... Oh, yeah, I forgot I got a new Mercer one. Nice. And... Oh, okay, let's... Let's bring... Wait, we need, we need to change up the order a bit. There we go. Okay, yeah. Turn back the clock, Dante. He's definitely dead. He better not be. To be honest, they, ha they haven't died in a while, but they've got to be really careful because they I know they said that like if they get, is it if they get scratched by the mermaids or something like they not not scratched, sorry, they can become like a mermaid, right? Like they've got to be really careful because Dante can't bring them back from that. That was like everything on the lake, right? It's pretty dark in here. The hallway to the storage was significantly narrower than the party deck. I had nothing but faint occasional flashing lights to guide me through this dark hallway. I decided to proceed carefully. Seriously, this place is way creepier than whatever Hong Lu was going with his story. Sinclair? You there? I wasn't sure where these water droplets were falling from, but they were really getting on my nerves. Ate by the whale? Oh, okay, I have to get eaten by a whale. Okay. Blunt and pierced damage to the fight for the most part. Okay, I'll keep it out. I'll keep my eyes. His baseline assumption that sin is directly frequently in combat, but very few deaths and so Yeah, it's not been too bad, actually. But just, just the whale. That's it. The, the, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Anyone be wait, eaten by the whale becomes a mermaid. Yes. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. I don't see anything in here. Not that I could in this dark, even if there were. All I see is a very faint ray of light. And... Oh. Oh, you're alive. Sinclair. And Sinclair. It seemed to me that he's been standing here for a good while. Exactly how long, I wasn't sure. Sinclair stood there, still like death. He looked up. What are you looking at? Oh shit, he looks like- oh, oh, oh. Now that I'm in here, I noticed that there was something funny about the ray of light. I assumed that the light I saw was from a lamp or something, but no. It was just there, surrounding the general area where Sinclair stood. There was no light source. So the light shining in from the outside, maybe? No, that doesn't make any sense either. But deep in the ship's storage, a big metal box with no opening for even a single strand of natural light. Besides, it's night time. This is getting more and more bizarre by the second. Where is this light coming from? Oh, not the dead <gasps> Plague of snow! <laughs> not the dead light now! Hey, hi time, how's it going? Hey human, hello, how you doing? We've just started uh, Kanto 5 Part 2. Hope you're doing well. How do you like the CGR? I really like it, I think it looks good. Sinclair, we gotta get out of here. Run, now. Come on. Fear of the unknown intensifies. What I saw defied every bit of common sense I had accumulated over the journey, and I had to get Sinclair out of there. I snatched and tugged his limp wrist. Come on, wake up. That seemed to have done the trick. Sinclair suddenly snapped back to reality and began screaming. He bolted out of the room. Don't leave me behind! <laughs> what is deadlight? So in um, it, Pennywise is a clown and it can use this. I don't want to give away spoilers for it in case someone hasn't seen it, but basically it can use this thing called the deadlight, which is like this light that it has that like it produces from its mouth to essentially put people into this trance like state. Um, so I don't want to spoil it, but that's that's what that's a reference to. <laughs> he just left me behind. I'm still in that room. Oh my god. What, what Dante is. 
공중의 사람이 공중의 사람이 공중의 사람이 공중의 사람이 Oh, oh, this is like the dead lights. Oh, oh. 이거 진짜 무서워졌는데. Oh, 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 it's getting closer. Oh, 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 it's oh shit. Oh my god, that what the hell is that? Oh, guys. Oh my god. 일리가 없죠. Has no one turned around? Why are you all looking in the same direction? Oh my god, I'm so tense. 그럼. 네, 설명할 시간이 있나요? 당장 무기 들어요. 아! 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 target SP is below 15, deal 50 damage. Sophia target loses 2 SP. Oh, great! Quick! All of Hans and Claire! <laughs> Yay! Hit Sinclair, please! Target loses 5 SP and this unit heals 10 HP. Click paralyzed. Okay, alright, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot she starts with that. Yeah, build that one. Yeah, it's like some bleeding. Rupture, yes, please. In full charge count. Pure body. Oh my god, they're so high girl. I love them. Yeah, new BGM. So I'm like, what's the dog doing? What do you mean? Ooh. Ooh, I like the OC. It's so creepy. It's so like creepy. This is very Lovecraftian. Oh, I love it. It's very Lovecraftian. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, these are first negative coin enemies. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's not good, is it? That's not what I want to hear at all. Oh, well, okay. I'll have to be careful then. We'll have to be careful. So what have you got? You got five? Okay. Yeah, let's build up some tremor. Okay. You're going to charge, lose 10 SP. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Nice. Oh, that's Out of the background rocks like a ship. Oh, it's, yeah, even like when you do this bit does. That's so cool. What's supposed to be a joke towards the new enemies? Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just too busy being scared. Just ignore me. It's fine. <laughs> I would just ignore everything I do, honestly. Well, not everything, but some of it, you know, ignore a good, ignore a good amount. So, what, you on 16? Okay. Fix some bleeding. Oh yeah, demolish, that's fine. Wait, bash, yeah. Uh, what, are you on 10? Yeah, we've got round two, so let's let's build as much of that as we can get. Let's do that one. Okay, we should have a good little wallop for the beginning of next round. Ooh, I like the guitar in there. Ooh. How long are we streaming today? Until I finish the second part. So, yeah, until we're, until we're done. Uh, uh, that's my plan. New when the music is nice. <laughs> yeah, I can't do a negative corner. Ah, I see. Okay. Right, now we've got something like 20. Killed in combat, the unit that attacks it loses 10 SP. Oh! Okay, well that's kind of unavoidable. There's not really much I can do about that. I mean, it's good as Sinclair, does it? But, well, it's it's okay. Target below 20 SP, heal 20 more HP from the side. Oh shit. So that's gonna be a pain. Okay. Right. So Sinclair is actually not a good one to bring for this. Because actually being negative SP benefits these dudes. I think we're strong enough to tank it though. I think, because to be fair, you've actually managed to stay in positive SP. It's actually Ishmael that's the problem here. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so you're good. You're going to be good for your attack and you're going to be good for... Ah, uh, nice. Okay. The whales. This event is truly a horror show. Enclaw Sinclair is the Enclaw ID that's negative for coins besides Sun Shower Ego. He, he's, who I don't know. Oh, yeah. What well, benefits Sinclair more so? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sinclair doing that attack definitely benefits, so... Um, yeah, we'll do this one. There we go. We've got enough to do both. Yeah, 10 charge count. You're at 11. Perfect. Definitely want to do you. 
don't think they're gonna kill on turn, so we'll do shank and then throat slit. Nice. This is like one of the like best moves. It's so good. Like the amount of damage this can do sometimes. Oh, so good. Croning is fun. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm like now I've got lantern. Well, like I have to be so careful now with that Sinclair. Oh no! Damn it! That is bad. Damn. Come on, there we go. At least, at least we're one of them, please. No one here is good as Sinclair. No, no. Oh, new lower level. Okay. Can't tell if I came out October like the just This would have been around Halloween. I can, I can kind of tell that. Like this is kind of, this is really creepy. It's one of the things I love though, because I think that I would say this is like one of the only gacha games that's a horror game as well, and I love that because I love horror games. So I love when they bring in things like this that it is clearly horror, and it's like yes, it makes me so happy because I freaking love horror games, and I don't play them as much as I used to. But having a horror gacha, like, yes. Gimme. Gimme all of it. Oh, I just realized we never got Ishmael's... Oh, I wonder why. I guess it just didn't appear. So chat, you know people on which villain would you want to join the Limbus crew? Good question. I'll say Virgil from DMC. That's fun. Would it... Do you mean villain from the game or do you mean villain from like anything? Or like, who would you want to cross over into this game? There you go. Yeah, we're good. Genshin Gacha is horror. <laughs> Same for FGO. Yeah, truly some of the Gacha elements are horror. That's fair. That is fair. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. Uh, the horror atmosphere is just lovely. Yes. I, good question, actually. Are you guys horror game fans? Like, do you guys play a lot of horror stuff? Just out of curiosity. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Ooh, there's something tentacly there. Okay. The cruise was an aftermath of devastation. The consequence of breaking the laws of the Great Lake was severe. I'll have to be more careful from now on. Patreon Mersol, and I will not explain myself. Oh, do you mean from Ognites? From the game, but if there's a good answer for it. Oh, okay, from this game. I'm playable Patriot in any game. Oh my God, say, I was saying if they made playable Patriot in um, Endfield, oh my God, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Plus of a few genres like the heist for chaps. Dude, that's true, it does cross over, yeah. I'm not, oh, I'm a horror afraid I don't play them, interesting. Yeah, Mersault is Patriot. That would be so dope. I love the Project Moon horror though, yeah. Where is Farmwatch? I don't know. I write horror? Take that. Oh, that's fun. I'm a PM fan, yeah. I like psychological horror. If you can play jump scares, I hate it. I'm very similar, actually. I th I don't think you need jump scares to be scary. I love watching people play horror, horror games. So I would never play them by myself. I like games that are something and then also horror. I prefer like psychological horror. Like one of my first childhood games that I played was Silent Hill. So if you love psychological horror, that's a great example, especially Silent Hill 2. Great example of like psychological horror. Kind of like, I wouldn't say similar to this, but like with the elements of like the environment around the character being very warped and having to like survive in that kind of environment. I, I really like things like that. So when you take a character like out of a situation they're not used to and put them into something like this, it's like, it's great. But yeah, not a big on horror games because most of my hide seek. Fair, fair. Black Souls times the. Wait, Black Souls times Limbus for me? What's what's that, Peppy? Never touched a horror game. Psychological horror is, is the best. <laughs> Hopefully, Limbus gets a collab in the future. Who would you, who would you want it to collab with though? Way more of survival horror. I also like survival horror. Order. Like I'm big into like the Resident Evils and stuff too. Yeah, what's 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 that game? I've not heard of that. Awesome nightmare body horror. Like Junjo Ito. Oh, imagine if it crossed over with Junjo Ito. Oh my God, if they had like a Kanto where it was like all the kind of like, oh man, if it's in like black and white and stuff. Oh my God, that would be phenomenal. There is a game called World of Horror, which is kind of based on Junjo Ito's work. So it could cross over with that. If you've never played World of Horror, I would recommend it. It's a very interesting game. I actually wouldn't mind making a video on that game. It's very good. Don't look it up. Oh, okay. No, don't let her know. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Isn't family friendly. Got, got it. Got it. Oh, doing another fight. Okay. 
Thank you, Mikalesh. Did I just see the shadow move along the background? Yes, you did. What? Yeah, there is there is stuff moving around. Reverse 1999 would love that to cross over, especially because the next thing that's coming out is actually a horror chapter, which I'm so excited about. Oh, so excited. I've heard of Lethal Company because whenever I type in Limbus Company, it comes up, <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't played it. Not yet, but I don't know what it's really about. Uh, Rhino Ram's fine. Actually, wait a minute. Game to charge. Yeah, sure, let's save that. Let's save that. Full bleed. Yeah, you're at the end. That's fine. Okay. It's like fear and the worst. Got it. Okay. Oh, World of Horror Mansion? Yeah. Fear and Hunger? That would be a great collab as well. I played World of Horror in its early access period. What did you think? Nice to play through the canto. Yeah. Yeah, I only play Psychological Horror and how I prefer jumps get. No, I agree. I agree. I find it more interesting. Um, but I also I also like body horror. So like like I've always loved movies like that and stuff. Like growing up, I used to love like the thing. And what just happened? Apple and orange, best crossover. <laughs> just get a banana and they'll have a fruit salad. <laughs> Was Amnesia the bunker? Oh, see, I'm not good at games like that. I can't play sneaky horror games. I'm getting better, but I'm really bad. Oh, Alice, yes. That is one of my lists to play. I Really annoying, I bought that game on Steam and then it, cra it kept crashing. So I couldn't play it, but I've watched playthroughs of that game. And it is, I love the designs. It's wonderful. It's such a shame American McGee couldn't get funding to do a third one because I would really have loved them to be able to release it on another console um, other than um, just on like PC. Such a shame that I really want to play those games. It was really good. Katana my weapon was fantastic with high decks. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. It's my last one, Zoom. <laughs> Letha's phasmophobia, but instead of ghost, you loot items. Oh, okay, good to know, Roko. I don't like horror games, so you can't fight back. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, Outlast, anything like that, not my cup of tea. I like the stories. I find the stories interesting, but they're definitely not for me. We've got a second round, don't we? Yeah, let's save up. What are you on now? 10? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, I love how creepy the music is. Wait, bash. Now let's get to 10, that one. Yeah. Can technical Elko? Ah. Where is Alice? You hiding Alice? Love the BGM. BGM's great. But yeah, I always nice to that you guys are fans of horror stuff too. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, a big fan of horror stuff. Because, like, I never used to really like watching horror movies and stuff because he always used to scare me a bit too much. But um, there are some incredible stories told through horror movies. You've just got to kind of be able to sort of grit through the horror a little bit. Darkwood. I have heard of Darkwood. I saw, um, yeah, I personally recommend Darkwood. Yes, it, um, I think I saw Markiplier playing some of that game. Yeah, it, it's it's a gorgeously designed game. I, I would love to check it out at some point, but I have a lot at the moment. I'm trying to make sure I finish stuff first. Well, that one's actually dominating. So I'm trying to kind of finish stuff. Like I need to go back to Fear and Hunger, for example. I haven't picked up in a bit. It, it, Fear and Hunger, I really should just stream it at this point. Because it's all covered up. I think I could probably get away with streaming it. To be fair, just so I can actually like make progress, because <laughs> every single video I make, it's like, oh, you've you've made a little bit of pro progress and then you die three times. Cool. Whereas at least on stream, people can be like, don't do that. I need my hands held. Survival type horror. Yeah, but you can fight back though, right? Style of like a dark fairy tale. Yeah, I've played Phasmophobia. I have. I wasn't very good at it though. I'm very bad at Phasmophobia. Mark Markiplier, yeah, um, YouTuber, Subnautica account. To an extent, it kind of does, depending on what you find scary. Horror is a great medium story hundred percent. And I've really started to appreciate that more. It really was something that I, un I think I like underappreciated. Um, but now that I've watched like more movies and stuff, I definitely appreciate horror as as a medium of telling stories way more than I used to. I think mm, no, that's not gonna be enough. Oh wait, yes it is. Never mind. Yep. Oh, normally if you like, if you kill one, then you get. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't get to do the full move. Oh, I don't know. Usually you get to have another like kill, like have another one. Oh well. 
Fantastic game. Do my speed I got so far. <laughs> oh no, they oh. <laughs> oh, that was really weird. Okay. So I just want to limit and lethal before 40. Oh, that's cool. Don't start. I have played Don't Start. I've played that with my sisters. So they were mermaids. <laughs> Right. What? That's still there. So is that a whale? So they ended up getting devoured by a whale. Yeah, oh, got yeah. Thank you, Kitsune. And this is a ship is the aftermath. Great. That's my multiplayer. Ah, uh, fair. We get out there, SCP. It's fun though. Their single lapse of judgment led to this chilling catastrophe. I remember Ishmael looking into the lake, muttering to herself. I also remember the rough, biting word she threw at us. This was the reality of the Great Lake that Ishmael survived before joining us. A place where even the smallest mistake could mean total annihilation. Oh, that's what, yeah, what is that? Oh, I thought it was, is it, oh. A place where one must struggle endlessly to survive the terrible unknown. Death Stranding, what are you? So this was the kind of path Ishmael sailed before joining us. If only, if only I'd known, then maybe I could have been more understanding of her. I think though regardless, like, they would have still had to go. So yeah, it, yeah, I guess Dante could have been a little bit more understanding, but also how were they supposed to know? So it's not their fault, you know? I keep going back to my quarrel with Ishmael back at the boat works. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, oh, so it is, it is a whale. Okay. It kind of looks like a tree. We left the cruise ship as fast as we could. After an indeterminate amount of time. Place where Lovecraftian horror is commonplace and so people don't enough to party at it. Yeah. Well, I guess though as well, to be fair, because... We kind of saw that, didn't we? We we saw back in four point five where there was this kind of like illusion where where the kind of boat works and all the all you know where the where the like crabs were and stuff. Can't remember exactly what it's called, like the junkyard place. There was like that barrier, wasn't there? Where like it was all blocked off. So maybe it was those kind of people that presume that they sort of like know the like. It, it almost reminds me of like teenagers when they go partying out on a boat, doesn't it? Like they don't really understand truly, or they're more likely to be people that just don't encounter these kind of things. Normally, and then when they encounter it, they just don't know what to do. Way of Thousand Strands name. Limbus is a strand type game? What do you mean, Ray? Sorry. Oh, what the? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Good to know, Dumbina. Thank you. Yeah, I will not be looking that up. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that. Yep, that's fine. Yep. I made the wrong call. I shouldn't have made such a rash decision. And that was that. Ishmael didn't say more. I'm still so sad that... about Ish. Oh no. 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 Oh Ishmael slowly returned to the spot by the ship's railings where she stood muttering to herself. For a moment I wondered if I should follow her like I did earlier, but... But maybe she wanted some time alone to think about things. I decided to leave her be. I just like want to give her a hug, like I just feel so bad for her at this point. Oh. Jam my harpoon? Oh. oh man, she's trying to make herself like emotionless. Oh. Oh. 
Ishmael, I, I need to see, even if it's just fan art, I need to see Ishmael distort and I need this hair to become some form of tentacles. Like she needs to become some Cthulhu-esque mermaid monster. I need to see it and I need to see us talk her down from it. Oh, I need it. <laughs> I need it. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Oh, God, I need I need the drama. I need it. It's She's so going to distort. There's, I, I, genu I, would put, I would place bets on it at this point that she is going to distort. The exclusive lobotomy corp branch of U Corp finally appeared from beyond the veil of mist, but it was completely uncovered by a layer of bizarre white membrane. I think we're on the correct path. Of what? Ooh. It, it was completely covered by a, under a layer of bizarre white membrane? What does that mean? What is that? Huh? Huh? Like the call of Ishmael Doodle Val did? Was it Val? Oh, I don't think I've seen this promo art from me where she is squid. <gasps> oh, I've not seen. I've not seen those. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to be that, Alice, but <laughs> that is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, <laughs> hopefully not. Oh. Thank you, mods. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, let's not say that. Well, look at all the tentacles. I know, right? It's, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, OP, calm down. Th thank you, mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sal su in Shigan. Oh my god, it's so cool seeing it. It's so cool seeing it and knowing what that is. As Sinclair and Yisang shared their thoughts, a large structure loomed ever closer out of the mist and into our line of sight. Oh, creepy. Yeah, creepy. Toe fungus. Ugh. Well, I did miss a lot. Did I miss a lot? Hello, how you doing, Dawn? You didn't miss too much. We're, we're ju we've just reached the lob court branch. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, also, so does that mean... Wait, quick question. Wait, wait, I have a question then. So if you can only stay in the places inside the lake for a certain period of time, how does this work then? Is it like any buildings or anything that's permanently in the lake is like fine and you're not going to get attacked? Is it just like that only applies to the boats? Because obviously, as we've known, like if you don't cross over because of the laws of the lake, if you don't cross over to another section of the lake, you will like essentially something will happen. So does that mean when it's like a building, is it just like if you're on a boat, if it's like a building, it doesn't matter? Is that what that kind of means? It does look like an oil rig. You are right. Oh, so the building moves because it's it's like a right. Okay, got it. Oh, I think I remember them saying something about that. Okay, that that sounds familiar. Yeah, so it's supposed to move around, but it can't anymore. Oh, so some oil rigs in real life do move. Right. Okay. Yeah, the base also moves around. That sounds familiar. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. They explain the last part, but the islands move. Thank you. Right, got it. Yeah, sorry, forgot about that, but that sounds about right. Okay. The sight was enough to shut everyone up. Yeah, they move. Okay, thank you, thank you. Everybody didn't miss it. Hey, cool dog, how's it going? Only apply ships with humans on them and the buildings can move. Right, got it. Everything moves like it's not. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yeah, yeah. To hope there may be any survivors in this structure was far too optimistic a notion for what appeared before us. There is no one alive in there. I don't think so. And if there is, I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to be shocked if there's actually someone alive in there. Only the smeared logo of Lobcourt Branch glistened among mounds of pallid, blasphemy, blas blasphemous white. This was the undeniable reality we found ourselves in. Yeah, because there's like veins on it as well. And like, yeah, this is so weird. I don't know, Greg. What happened? Yeah, they're indeed all rigs of move. Right. Got it. Yeah, it's like Rhode Island, but on water. Good. There you go. I get that reference. Ah, uh, 
Oh, that's not good. Hey, Ru, how's it going? Just going to the stream. What stage is Georgie on? 24? Was it 24, 25? Am I about there? Basically, we've just reached the lob core branch. How are you doing there? You doing well? We're going to start this job for a long time. We're going to start this job for a long time. We're going to start this job for a long time. Yeah. We're going to start this job for a long time. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's... The way in which organic tissues are plastered over the walls is quite reminiscent of what of earlier lob court branches. Interesting. Oh. Oh my god, you're gonna bring this bitch up? You're gonna bring this bitch up? Are you serious? I hope he comes back soon. I hope he comes back. I always forget his name. But oh my god, he needs to come back so we can kick his ass. I hope he's inside this. I hope he's inside that building. <laughs> I need him to come back so we can kick his ass and murder him. He needs to. Yeah, get a quiet canto on there. Yeah, I, I, get, I get it now. Yeah. I thought it was Decorp that we went to. But yeah. Lovecraft having a field day right now. I love it though. Hopkins. That's the one, Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it, well, I mean, I don't think it could be much worse because Apple, because that was traumatic enough, but my homies hate Hopkins. Does anyone not hate Hopkins? Hope they never bring Hopkins back. As it'd be so funny. No, they have to bring him back. No, they have, they'll bring him back. He'll get his due, he'll get his comeuppance, I reckon. Yeah. We all just want him dead, but he'll never come back. I, there's no way he'll come. Didn't Hopkins get himself beat up? After? No, no, he he went and we didn't see him again. So we haven't seen Hopkins again since all we know is he left. So yeah, we've we've never we've never seen. Hopkins never left D Corp since that's where his office is. So unless we specifically hunt him down, we won't see him again, I think. Depends. Depends. So the calamity was. The calamity that Pilar mentioned didn't destroy the lobotomy corp branch. It transformed this place into something uncanny. Something so grotesque that totally obliterated... Sorry, total obliteration would have been preferable to what happened here. Oh, also, Hopkins caused the death of his partner, so I don't know if he could have quite just returned to the branch. I, I don't... I reckon he didn't. Got jumped by some rat rats. <laughs> Probably in a nest now, yeah, probably. Just watch, he'll be like, oh, just watch. We'll get like near the end and he'll be like a really high up official in another branch. Oh, grim. Right, so there was five calamities, but now there's only four. Okay, the frick does that mean? あまり조심하고피하려해도찾아오는법이에요。그것들은규칙대로움직이지않아도되는힘을가져서불현듯찾아오니까요。지금은그재앙이남기고간지옥속으로직접노를저어들어갈시간이고。Was he supposed to urinate like apples? Robot Tommy, Jibun, Barry, Yoposuni, Job Better Tago Gaduro. Manire Sangangal, Tabi, Hey. Isn't that exactly why you should be coming with us? <laughs> After a quick tinkering from Faust, the skiff tied to the side of Mephistopheles began its slow descent. It's the same skiff we used to get to the cruise ship. Hmm. We're doing that's true, we are, to be fair. Did the calamities fight you? That's what I'm wondering as well. The small engine on the skiff revved gently, and our short, sputtering journey to the lobotomy court began. Hmm. There was a growing sense of trepidation among the sinners as we climbed to the pale membrane enveloped stairs leading up to the lobotomy court branch. Do you notice about music of mermaids before I had whale calls in it? Oh, I didn't actually. Oh, I'll take a listen again. Beep. Okay. 
Yeah, well, I'll listen out for it the next one. Not yet. Hmm. Michael's got. Oh, let's take a listen. Rodia was visibly disappointed. Maybe she was half hoping that I'd tell her that the golden bow wasn't here, so we should turn around and head right back to Mephistopheles. Same. Twinning right now. We are twinning right now. The closer we got to the entrance, the more reluctant the sinner's gates became. As though with inc growing increasingly wary that some unseen enemy could ambush them at any second. Seven or eight grade pirate? Uh, okay. It's near that part. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Nobody, Gregor. <laughs> Nobody, Gregor, please. 아저씨, 한참 전부터 저 자식은 말이 안 통했었는데 뭘 기대한 거야? Please, Gregor, you just talk to Ishmael more. 좀 협조적으로 바뀐 것 같아서 착각했네. Oh. oh. 가긴 가야지. I think though this shows just very quickly. I think though this shows that like the sinners have actually grown to care about each other a little bit. Like, I, th I think they genuinely have. If you compare, like, the, the first canto to this point, the fact that, you know, even, like, Heathcliff, the way he kind of was sounded a bit resigned with it, and then, like, Gregor was still trying to talk sense into her, Rodian did earlier as well. Like, they all clearly care about each other, which is really, like, sad. But also, I think it's making... It, like, is increasing the investment that we all have in these characters so much more, I think. Oh, it just shows how far the character developments go. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, L-Y, L-W-K-Y, hello, how you doing? Caught up enough in the story so I can join now. How did you find it? Ishmael appeared to be the only sinner uninterested in the golden bow. The golden bow, the unfathomable bone-chilling horrors of the lake. I was starting to believe that she considered all of that nothing but obstacles between her and her mission. I think they find him to the Dante stuff as well, yeah. They're becoming a family. Oh, look there. What is it? I'm trying to think if I've seen anything like it before in the game. I don't think so. I can't even think of like, yeah, probably not. Yeah, actual character development, 100%, yeah. Seeing Heath give Carrie is so sweet, a cherished moment she could cop with Sinclair. Yeah, it's, it's sweet. It's rather like, yeah, they genuinely are becoming like a big family. Yeah, bodies. Hmm. Yeah, there's like aspects of fungal growth, but it... It would be unusual if it was, but I could see, I could see why. I think it, yeah, like the veins in it are weird. Like this, this, it does kind of look fungal, but, and to be fair, but I mean, to be fair, it did say that the whales are parasitic. I wonder if it's something to do with, interesting. Okay. The tuners are uncannily, uncannily similar. I just saw them too and they look like the LCCB people. Yeah, maybe. Mega <laughs> Puerto. Question, do you play Persona 5? No, I've played the Shin Megami Tensei games, which I love. Uh, Persona 5 is on my list. I might play it at some point. I might do it on the stream, I'm not like on the channel, I'm not sure, but it is on my list because I love I love the monster designs in that game. They're phenomenal. But Shin Megami Tensei is a series I grew up playing. So yeah, big fans of big fans of Atlas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it looks too organic, I would agree. Is it like tissue? Hmm. SMT fan, hell yeah, yeah. Hello, friend, Webzy! Hello, how are you doing, my dude? Hello, friend, how are you? It's lovely to see you. How's it going, man? How are you? SMT base, always. 
The jokes are just writing themselves. <laughs> What's your favorite SMT game? Well, I grew up playing the two that were on PlayStation. So there was like Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2 that were like a really great one. But Nocturne, I played originally when it was on PS2 as well. And that was the one that had Dante in and it was so good. I started playing the remaster, but I haven't finished it yet. Very good games. What about yourself? Ignorant Fools? I guess so. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> What's the name, is it? Well, I'm wondering if she's calling it something fungus, but... Oh? Infectious? Yeah, I was thinking maybe she's calling it something like that. <laughs> I love how Ryoshi roast people, it's great. <laughs> it's like she's trying to... I forgot Dante's in it, yeah. I don't know if they put him in the remake. I didn't get that far in. But the, I love Nocturne, that was such a good dream. Do great, Georgie, thank you for asking. I just want to see how, uh, to see how happy I am for you, and I hope you're doing so well. Thanks, my dude, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're doing great. I'm glad you're doing well, dude. Oh, that's awesome. It's so nice to see you. I'm I'm excited for, for when you come back to stream and I really I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad you're doing good, my dude. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. In my, I'm in my gacha era. <laughs> Very different games to when I used to stream back on Twitch. Apart from Genshin, of course, but I don't play Genshin anymore. Kind of reminds me of the Philadelphia experiment and this thing a quiet madness made. What's the Philadelphia experiment? One of my friends got urged to play an SMT to an abno is to greet by another friend he did it with a friend admitted he'd never touched oh really <laughs> scps and elgin horror ships in one we love that the whaler the bizarreness continued deep into the lobotomy court branch that white pallid membrane was covering every inch of its interiors and we found that those were that were shambling around wrapped into that very same mem oh ew the remake has both of them? Okay. Base SMT fan. Hi, I've never seen this game. Hello, Curry. Hello. I come from the... Oh, Reverse 99 streams. Oh, looks amazing, though. Oh, Curry, if you like Reverse 99, you'll like this game. I would 100% recommend it. It's so good. It's so good. But thank you so much for coming in. How are you doing? And yes, I am an SMT fan. Oh, I should play one of the games on this channel. I would love to do that. I love I love those games. Maybe one of the ones I haven't played. The game is low-key a horror game. Yeah, it truly is. Welcome to Limbus Company. <laughs> but yeah guys if you want to if you want to explain what limbus company is about for curry just give them like a like a general base of what the game's about i would just just so in case you're interested as for you of gaming you can do whatever you like and hang around with people that share the same passion absolutely it's great agreed absolutely agreed have you been playing have you been playing any any good games at the moment websey what you been what you been playing Um, do people got fused to the walls? Oh, but it sounds like they're like walking around. Speaking of Genshin earlier, I got back into it and I got Dragon's Spine. Oh, you're up to Dragon's Spine? Nice, nice. I do want to pick Genshin back up, but for the time being, I've just like, I just haven't picked it back up yet. I do want to do it. Limbus Island 1999 when? Hopefully soon. So wait for the clowns. I'm not. <laughs> Don Quixote had stopped dead in her tracks. She was looking blankly at a section of the wall. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, there's people there too as well, but yeah. Oh dear. Ah, that's copium. That's copium if I've ever seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryoji, why? <laughs> I love SMT. Oh, I haven't played that one, Harrick. Is that one good? Um, six Gacha, SMT Liberate. Oh, they've got a Gacha game, this SMT? I was oh, you're finishing Dragon's Bite and Fair. Is it safe to stream Atlas games? I thought they were strict with copyright. I know for some games what they do is they have it so there's an like option with the music to make it a copyright free version, but all you'd really have to do is just turn off background music and you'd, you'd be fine, I think. Because a lot of people do stream um, like like Atlas games, so it does happen. It does happen. Mostly shooters like COD, um, R6 and Always Rock. Ah, Always Rocket League, nice. Nice, oh nice. I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. I'm, I wanna play that one again. Uh, what's R6? Is that Rainbow Six? 
here in the wall. It's John Cena. Da, 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 da. Reference to the supposed real life experiment where shit was supposed to go invisible and said teleported and the crew fused the walls. Wait, wait, whoa, wait, Nezu, is that the Philadelphia one? I didn't see a response about that one. That one has the. Oh, Nocturne? Yeah. The SMT gacha. Oh, does it actually? Oh, we'll have to have a look into that one. I didn't know it had a gacha. Wait, what experiment is that? Is that the Philadelphia experiment? Because, yeah, I was still waiting for a, an answer about that one. <laughs> okay, I will just say, to be fair, as. Well, when we spoke to Pilot, it didn't look like this. So this must have happened after Pilot left. Because Pilot didn't say anything about any of this. Do not play the new Codis Sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, I talked about that earlier. Yeah, yeah, I was just wanting to know a little bit more. Detail. Project Rainbow was its name? Oh, was that the name? Okay. Oh, it's an urban legend? Oh. USS Eldridge? Intriguing. All right. Okay, I've never heard of that before. Oh, I like things like that. I'll have to, I'll have to read. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Oh man, that's horrid. Ew, it looks like their body's like. Oh. Oh, Rio, she stopped smiling. Look at look at her. She's like grinning about it. I drew a child. No worries. Happy to see you thriving as well. Thank you as always, though. See you soon. Nice to see you, Websy. Nice to see you. I hope hope you and hope you and child are doing well. And I'll catch you soon. Have a good one. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> the wall man, yeah, it's a bit grim. <laughs> Well, hopefully he doesn't talk back, because otherwise, what the hell are we going to do then? Boat facts, because playing Azure Lane. Does Azure Lane have a lot about boats in it? Body horror time. Do a little bit of body horror. Embedded. Oh my god, don't talk. Don't speak. Please. This would be like House of Wax. Oh. No, he's not alive in there. Oh, is it like, is it like sucking his energy out? Is it like draining his energy? <sighs> Oh, that's grim, mate. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, is this going to be one of those things, though, where, like, you try and free him from it and it, like, doesn't go well? Pull me into the series. Oh, interesting. I'll have to check that out, guys. Thank you very much for the recommendation about SMT5. I didn't I didn't know there was a gacha. That's interesting. Obviously, I'll play obviously I'll play them without the gacha aspect, but I'm just curious as to what it's like. Interesting. Mm. Oh, damn. Thanks, I hate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Byford Oil Incident? It all fell on me now. What's, what's that? Assimilated, yeah. Like The Thing. If you've ever seen the movie The Thing, that's what it's like. It's basically where, like, the alien thing assimilates with the human and becomes all warped and creepy, and then it can, like, assimilate with other things as well. Oh, <laughs> Gregor. Oh, it's not a gacha. Oh, okay. Thanks, Fields. Okay. I'll have a look. Oh, isn't the SMT... Oh, D times two. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll check out SMT5. And then that gacha one as well. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we're going to have to, like, kill them again? Oh. Is Ryoshi just gonna like change sides? <laughs> Ryoshi's like, actually, I'm on the whale side now. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Um, you got sucked. Oh gosh. The thing is, the greatest horror movie of all time. I, when I went to Canada, they actually had the thing on at the cinema with like this like special. I think it was like 40th or 50th anniversary like chat talk about it. It was so good. And it was so cool to get to see it in the cinema. Like it was amazing. It was so good watching it again. Your game list is absolutely packed right now. I know. <laughs> I know. It's a real Final Fantasy XIV vibes. 
from what part of Fantasy <laughs> 14? Wait, um, I've just not got to this bit yet because I, I don't know if this will be in Final Fantasy 14. Ryoshi was just on the art side. Yeah. Unlike the other sinners, Ishmael didn't even spare a glance to those that were trapped within the walls. <laughs> I guess there's nothing we can do for them, still. Hey, that's what they describe how the tuning fork worked, as though it's two, never two separate things to begin with. That is a very good point. Ooh. Okay, thank you. That Thank you for pointing that out. In, oh my God, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, Dawn. Oh, they're only pretending to. Oh, no. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What the hell? Oh, okay. Are you talking about that same whale you mentioned before? Oh my god, the music is so tense. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't tell us there was like whales that like suck people into walls. You didn't say any of that, did you? So you're saying that the whale you met devoured this building? Yes. That pallid whale. The white whale. Sounds like how my mum described me as a baby. My mum described me as a bowling ball. <laughs> she was like, you had a giant head like a bowling ball. I was like, thanks mum. How can you be sure of that? Just to lighten the mood. <laughs> I was curious. Oh. 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 What? Oh, its voice sounds so creepy. Oh, that is the last thing we need. Speaks. Ugh.잠깐만.잠깐만요.상존자일수도있어요.뭐지?이 Ishmael, you shouldn't get so close to Ishmael strides towards the figure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god, this is so stressful. Oh. Hila. The closer Ishmael gets, the more of the figure's body is taken over by the pallid off-white membrane. The voice grows increasingly incoherent. Oh no! Oh, its design is cool though. Oh. Ishmael. Ishmael, you have to get away from. Oh my god, get the fuck away! Oh, 
Which fair, if you haven't been here for eight to t eight to ten years, things might have changed a bit. Oh well, shit. Damn it, Ishmael. I could have asked one of the sinners to stop it, but before I even realised what I was doing, I was running towards Ishmael. Dante! Oh my god, Dante! I think it was the guilt that pushed me to act guilt that I might have played a part in driving Ishmael to this point. What did we literally just tell you like 10 sections ago? Stop running into trouble. Oh god. Dante. But guilt can sometimes help. The figure's face shifted again when I approached Ishmael. The white membrane covering their face began to, begins to withdraw as if there were an unforeseen forces peeling it off its skin. What? The mouth didn't come back, but the eyes that looked at us were unmistakably human shaped. They were blinking with effort. What? What? Oh my god, does the whale know that Ishmael's there? Like, does it- is it responding to her specifically and then when Dante approaches- oh my god. Oh, I see. Oh, I see! Oh! Wait, so if the golden bow is here, then how come this place has been- Maybe that's why it's not been completely taken over. Faust approached us. Oh, I see. Obviously, VA here. It sounds generally like she's falling apart before your eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these things speak in Morse code. Oh, is that what it is? The figure whose mouth was still wrapped in pallid membrane blinks wearily as though they can understand what we were saying. On Dante's head? Yeah. Yeah, but then the other golden bow's here, though, right? So is that why? Because there's like a bigger part of the golden bow here? Oh my god! Oh, dude. Though it was Kurt, I've never heard such an intense desperation in her voice before. Oh my god, do not tell me. Do not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I have a. Ho oh. Oh no. Oh, theory has just formed. I'm worried. I'm. Oh shit. Oh shit. Theory has formed. Also, was it mentioned before the Dante has gone bonus clock? That's actually a good point. Was that? I feel like that maybe wasn't mentioned before. But yes, that makes sense. Ishmael trauma noises. Well, that was meant in Dante's reverse, yeah. <laughs> Ishmael having a mental breakdown. Holy shit. What is your game theory? Okay, theory time. So. My my theory that my brain has just come up with, yeah, Dante here to give Ish hope whenever she wants it. Yeah, my theory is that base, yeah, can make any. So Dante with golden can make a mermaid become a human. So what? Obviously, there's been a running theory that Ahab, obviously the captain of the ship the Ishmael was on back in the day, potentially distorted and you know, well, basically the white whale and them, like, combined, like a tuning fork, right? Like, with the whole tuning fork theory. So, then if they ate the crew and Ishmael survived, they would have become mermaids. So, is Ishmael hoping that she can turn back the crew of that ship? Or at least, is it Queequag, I think the name is, or at least them back into a human? Because, obviously, she was out for vengeance, so I presume she was just wanting to kill the whale. But actually... Is she now thinking, oh my god, I can save them? Is that basically what it is? Because if so, this is not going to go good. So basically, if Dante can revive us in her, he can reverse them back to human. Her. Yeah, that's how he explains... Yeah, I thought so too. How Dante feels the presence of other bows, basically, probably how he explains how they're able to understand disordered individuals, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's that would make sense. Yeah. Where else do you stuff the bows on to collect them? That's a good point. I actually don't know. But she also mentioned that she didn't know where she her best mate is earlier 
in this canter. Best mate. <laughs> Best mate. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's true. That's true, yeah. Well, I guess maybe she didn't know. Maybe she... They were roommates, yeah. <laughs> maybe she... I <laughs> love that meme. Maybe she presumed that they were dead. I, I don't know. I love this latest story bits. I'm so excited. Do you want to survive a crew that got devoured by the whale? Probably. Yeah, that's my thing too. Become the captain of the Twin Hook Pirates because then the Captain Hook was famous. Interesting. Oh, I like that Dr. Pepler. Crewmates, bankmates, anyone. The shipmates. I like the part of the book where Ahab said it's more than time and more than the whale. <laughs> that's my favorite part too. Yeah. Dante is hoping Karna. Yeah. Quill. I'm a little yeah now now it's all guilt now it's becoming all guilt this is not good oh this is so sad yep yep there we go definitely had a feeling that happened yeah Ishmael looked at me with a vacant expression. Oh god, what? Oh god, Ishmael, you're- oh my god, Ishmael is losing it. Ishmael was right, emotions of the past began flooding, roaring before me. Ishmael. She stands alone in a sea of tall, rolling waves. Oh god. I nodded carefully. Oh my god, we're getting back, sorry. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, okay. Oh. So, you've seen yourself? The whale that devoured this place. I'm just gonna see if I can just turn up the voices a bit, because the voices are a little bit quiet compared to the music. I think that's better. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So they don't become mermaids. Oh, damn. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So they're still technically mermaids, yeah, but they're not like the type that we've seen. Like they, they retain, potentially retain themselves, but they're just basically maybe somehow connected to this mermaid but in a slightly different way because sorry whale connected to the whale but in a slightly different way yeah oh 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 if they made ahab female oh did they mention that before or is wait oh sweet oh my god i can't wait for character design Oh, cool. uh, initially I was like, oh, I think I started watching during a weird moment in the story, but I'm gathering this is more of a full batshit. Of course, no clue what's happening, but already invested. Oh, Curry, it's so good. I would recommend playing it. <laughs> I would absolutely recommend It's such a fantastic game. It's so good. No, never mentioned. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. And uh, is it Pequod? I think. Is confirmed, but yeah, all three characters. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Sweet. I think I think I saw that Queen Crag has been confirmed as female. Yeah, but I didn't know Ahab had been. All right, cool. All the cruel ladies. Sweet. 
Nice. Went from a Yowie ship to a Yuri ship. Nice. Nice. So her crew... Did her crew just turn those people on the pound ships? Did I miss the fight? We're on, we're on 524, so we've not really done many fights, so I'd say maybe no? Since she went for this person, she was going to make sure to hunt with an unbearable pain with her. Oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, I presume that was the whale. But thank you. Makes sense. Nice. Oh. Pequod? Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow. Look at that whale's design. I mean, obviously, we've seen like a hint of it before, but just, oh, wow. Although this eye looks different. Oh, what were you holding on to? At a certain point, it stopped being a conversation. What were you holding on to? We saw the other behind before. Yeah. Wasn't the captain... Oh, I don't... I'm not hype. Oh. Ishmael's words grew increasingly aimless like a vortex of the sea, endlessly whirling in place. Now it was clear what Ishmael's mission was, where the tip of her razor-sharp harpoon aimed... It was aimed at the captain that drove them all to that damnation. An overwhelming tide of hatred and obsession burned fiercely in her direction. <laughs> to be fair, Ahab hasn't been name dropped. I presumed their name is Ahab, but I don't know. You'll find out, okay. Book spoilers, yeah. Well, their name is Ahab, yeah. It's not really a spoiler because that's just the name of the character. Have the figures in the background been mentioned yet? No, they've mentioned the other, the other one though. Don saw the other one. If you read the book, you'll know, yeah. There was no room for reason or rationality to convince her otherwise. I suppose bringing up that I saw from Ishmael's obsession. A glimpse of her old captain won't do anything to help right now. Ishmael. We don't even know if that captain is still alive. so sad oh. oh and if you know the book you'll know the significance of that as well oh that freaking hurts oh god damn it's my shield is called hurt oh is it is it actually that makes sense oh it's fun how this whale is like the closest thing to look like an actual real life whale out of all the whales we saw but they saw much to make it look like a lovecrafty monster yeah there it is. It's like twisted. Jeez, yeah. It's heartbreaking. Ifman's name weapon is her shield called named Hearse. That hurts. That hurts. Damn. Oh my god, the voice acting is so good. Holy shit. Ishmael. I wanted to ask her which we she was referring to, but I was starting to think that nothing I say would improve anything, even if it, if it didn't outright bring everything crashing down. That was when an imperceptible light breeze broke through the silence. A solitary butterfly. Oh shit, what? Oh, hello, what? It moved with grace, tinged with fragility, as if though it did not fear the weight of this heavy silence. The middle point we'll be finding like ever. The palace is like most traditional whales because he doesn't eat. Both comes across like other whales. He just spews everything he doesn't like out, right? Said the line. It's going to be the captain, not the whale, yeah. It took a moment to gently flutter onto a puddle. 
보통의 나비가 이런 곳을 날아다니고 있을 거라고 생각하네. I'm scared. After a quick respite, the butterfly fluttered its wings and took off once again. 마치 따라오라는 것 같아요. <웃음> Little dude. <웃음> Oh, we're gonna persona reference. Oh god, a butterfly! <laughs> 감성체가 콧배기도 안 보이더니 드디어 나타난 건가? Tell me reference. It might be a trap, but we're lost. It's the only thing with any sense of direction we have at, at the moment. 찬성하겠어. 나 개인에게도 궁금함이 생겨. 이들은 계속 무슨 말을 하는 걸까요? Yeah. 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 When I walked away, the pallid membrane grew over the face again, burying it. So the the golden bow is like a temporary. Oh god. Oh, that is gonna. Oh, there's gonna be angst with that later. I reckon. And it began to shamble. Is it a dismal said? Will they now roam the great lake, attacking everyone and everything they come across? Well, I'm not gonna spoil. Please don't. Not only their physical senses, but also their sense of self, forgotten deep under the pallid membrane. Oh, dude. Wow. Oh, there they are. Okie dokie. Palified thing hook. Oh, so these are pirates. What can it do? Fine bleed. Paralyzed damage. Gain one protection for surviving ally. God damn it. Okay, um, so gain two offensive level and defense level for every living palified ally. At 10% max HP, inflict 20 SP on hit, inflict pallid noise, so... 10, okay. If this unit dealt the final blow, apply one protection and two defense power, okay. So basically they've got some really annoying, are they all the same? Palified thing, pirate, probably similar, right? Yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. Look at the skill names. What do we got? Oh, they don't have any skill names. Oh, oh, it's the code. Oh, it's like Morse code, right? Oh, that's clever. Interesting. I wonder if you could use that to figure out. Maybe like, is is this bait? Because obviously we've we've fought the pirate the pirate hooks the you know pirate hooks before twin hooks. Could we other moves similar? Could you use that to try and figure out what each of the Morse code letters mean? Yeah, it's gonna do Morse code. Their cries for help. Oh, really? Basically, them crying for help. Oh. Yeah, full button head shadow fraction of tiny. Yeah, so if you had like a full, full branch, I wonder what that would do. Because obviously, yeah, his is only a tiny fragment, so yeah. All right, well, well, that's neutral. That's not what I want. I'll have to go with that. Dominating that one. Yeah, that's probably the best bet for now. Pure <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, Sinclair. Love that for you. Oh, they're all low at morale. Oh, it's two waves. God damn it. Um, it's Korean Morse code. It means help me. Oh. Don't look after you finish the part, but we translated it on your Discord. Okay. Thanks. Morse and Korean. If you translate skill names, it says to help me. We have to escape and run. Oh. So they still maintain some form of, like, you know, they, they still... Right, spend eight. Okay. So they still maintain some, you know, form of thinking. They can still do that. It's just... Obviously, they're off control of their bodies. So the question is, what is controlling them? <laughs> Follow the stars and the butterfly wings of constellation shape. Well, the, to me, they always look like mirror shards, which is why I was confused for a minute. I was like, what? Nice. They're kind of saying, kind of. It's kind of weird. Like, having a specific fork, fork of intentional coke can lead to quite pickle in dangerous situations. Yeah. I lose 7 SP. Nope. Gain 3 trauma. Yeah. Alright, I'll we'll save that each charge for the next round. I'll just do this one for now. Yeah, let's do shank. 
Put you on ten. Mirror Maiden? We were the kitchen. <laughs> Whale's putting shot. Where do the flies go when they die? Oh, you mean like afterlife wise? I think they, they can realize they're in pain being controlled by the whale. Well, this kind of makes this even sadder. This, this. Oh, what the frick is that? Oh, there is. Wait, 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 wait. Someone said they don't become mermaids. Then what the hell is that? Why is there a mermaid? Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, 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 God, the music's good, though. Oh, the, wait, there are whale noises. I just heard that. Yeah. So gain two offensive level and defense level for every living thing. So is this the same? Wait, that's Morse code, too. Oh, the Arsenal combo is so cool. Like, it wasn't already that long. <laughs> Do you know what, Corey? That's really funny. You're the second person because last stream someone came in as well. They're like, "Oh, I'm from Universe 1999 streams." Like, what's this? And then they ended up downloading Olympus, and they were like, "I love this character." <laughs> Is there any characters you like the look of so far? Maybe the other mermaids devoured the, by the whale. Oh, and like became. Oh, I see. So like got like taken over. Oh, I see. So that's just the mermaid. That oh, right. Look up the OST. So good. OST spill. They don't mean little mermaids. It's slow and probably painful. Right. They were all humans that turned. Right. So they were like other mermaids from other whales that then got pallid. Right. Got it. I wonder if there's like a hierarchy with the whales or something. Like, how can like one whale take over other mermaids from other whales unless that whale was stronger? I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, it's getting into law. I'm getting excited. Ooh, we're getting into law. Okay, let's do some of this. Sprite and bud. Yeah, let's do you. Yeah, lose tennis speed. What you on? Minus four. Yeah, we definitely need to do that then, don't we? Shank. And let's do mind whip. Ow, rude. I think this well is higher tier, yeah. Ah, rude. Why is that whale so powerful? Stop. No, mermaid, I mean, mermaid. Yes, right around, let's go. Come on, right around, you got this. Yes. Consider the Palo well ate another whale. Oh, that's a good point. If it did, yeah, because they did say there was not. Oh, so maybe there's another whale that's been palidified. Which is why he was like five, but technically four. Oh, that's an interesting point. Of course, Ishmael would have to not get along with the strongest whale. SP, lost fish seed. Right, gain noise. Right. So, oh my god, if he gets to minus 45, we are screwed. Okay. Well, not screwed, but we're going to be in trouble. Okay. That's fine. Calamity's the strongest whale is presumably the same with fingers. Right. I feel like wild, white whale is one of the five calamities, so it's just like roided out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Oops. Oh, oh no, don't do that, please. Thank you. Alan. Are we strong enough? Actually, Mulite might be alright, actually. Here. Eviscerate. Yeah, we're gonna do a double evisceration. Gain two charge. What are you on? 14. Gain seven. Um Yeah, let's do that. Inflict them sinking. Rhino Ram, 100 percent Yeah, there you go. I'll be stronger. Oh, it ate another of them, right? Ate so many whales at the point. Mm. I think it might be due to the way the Palo Whale creates these things. I don't think it's creating anything rather than merging with them, hence the weird memory. Yeah, that would make sense. Why they were saying, like, it doesn't create the mermaids. Yeah. Okay. I think the Palo is a weird off-brand new corpse. They're going to have to consume something and weird combination of consume stuff. Well, the fact that there's an L Corp branch here to me, it, you know, I hope they've not done something to the whale that's made it like this. Oh no, Greg. Oh no, Greg, no! Oh. Okay. Oh, I'll take it. Nice. Good job, buddy. Vroom vroom. Nature Clamps the Lake will be elaborated on later. Okay. All the seed talks make me hungry. <laughs> We're talking about whales like eat each other. Just just do win, right? Well, I don't really see that. I should have just done the damage. Oh well. That end up matter. There you go. 
fine reminder during pilot's flashback last update he mentions the white whale sounding similar to yes he did mention that which makes sense considering the nature of its abilities okay next one the lake and the butterfly we followed the mysterious butterfly deeper into the lob court branch a man with flowing well wait what? a man with a flowing head was waiting for us what the hell does that mean what's a flowing head a man with a flowing head what I don't think the Morse code Korean you get what sounds like the victim's last word conversations. Yeah, it's so sad. Seeing you use some of the units like Spice, Bu Spice Bush Sag and G Court Gregor as me misusing them, they're so funny. They honestly are. It's it's really bad because I've kind of got like favorites that I like to use now, especially because I've learned how to use them. Oh, I just love the back. It looks like some out of a manga. The background just looks so good. Like it genuinely just looks like some out of a manga. I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Just watch. Okay, well, I kind of have to fight, but yeah, wait for it. Okay, doing unethical experiments doesn't sound like the local I know. <laughs> That's copium right there. Dominating, yeah, we'll do some shank, hack. Okay. Bang character line, yeah. Like a man with a burning head? Well, yeah, kind of. That's all what it sounds like, right? It's weird. Build some of this up. Seven charge. Yes, please. Uh, actually, well, you're now five. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely build that up. Lose 10 SP. We definitely need to do that. Ooh, that's even worse. <sighs> What do you know about the fingers, G? We can't talk too much about the fingers because it is going to come up in Library of Runa. But basically, I know that there's like different fingers and they all mean different things. They all like represent for different things. And the ones that we're encountering in this one is the middle finger, and that's where the Don and Mersol are from. But they're like really strong groups. Um, that you don't want to get on the wrong side of, but we can't talk about them too much because I know they do explore it in Library of Ruin, or I think I was told, so I've got to be careful not to tow into spoiler territory for that game. Uh, oh, that's annoying that you're both that one. Oh, it'll be fine. What you got? Let's keep building. Yeah, let's keep building for now. But yeah, we can't talk too much about it. Because also, I think, are they touched upon? Did someone say in Vigilis' story they touched upon as well? So yeah, I've got to be very careful not to talk. Because we talked about them a bit last stream, but I've got to be careful with them, I think. Do mermaids produce Encephalon? Mm. Well, it depends. Because does a mermaid count as a, as a distortion? Well, I guess no, they wouldn't be a distortion because it's been affected. So it's so there must be an abnormality, right? Does a mermaid class as an abnormality? No, they're not abnos. So then, so then, yeah. So then, if they're not abnormalities, they're not going to produce encephalin. Distortions don't produce encephalin, as far as I'm aware. But I don't think they class as a distortion. So what do they class as, right? Yeah, mermaids won't produce it. No. Yeah, basically, thing of things like mafia families. Yeah. So like the strongest syndicates. Yeah, Middle's one of them. Yes. Yeah, they talk about how monsters separate from... Yeah, so they're just, like, a different thing, yeah. Well, how do we know they don't produce Encephalon? Because we haven't... Have we come across something like this before in the game? Because how do we know they don't? Because humans do produce a little Encephalon, right? But it's not enough for the purposes of what they need it for. So what happens if you have a human that becomes a monster? Would it not technically produce some form of Encephalon? They're much more like monsters such as the crabs, right? Because they're a mutated human. It's Abno's specialty to produce Encephalon, right? Okay. I think these things can even predate the city themselves. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Because they're not abnormalities. They're humans turned into monsters, right? Yeah, like the crabs. Okay. So the first monsters were like trash crabs. Got it. Somebody probably would have tried it already. Yeah. Because maybe abnormalities just produce the most, which is why they're used. Mermaids are mutants. Less Encephalon. Than a normal human. Okay. 
stops there. Do you think they have Wells and Mermaids as crazy mutations of sea monsters instead of Abno stuff? Okay. Well, they, if they produce Enkafalna, it'd probably be like a regular living thing amount. Yeah, which is what I kind of thought was like, maybe they produce like what humans would produce, not enough for the purposes of what like a lob court would need, which needs way more, which obviously we know from Lobcorp is like, that's Enkephalon, which is obviously from the abnormalities and what they do with them. Which may mutate huge humans injected with Kajito, yeah. Yeah, right, if you remember, Mephi can produce Enkephalon, yeah. Enko is mainly extracted from brain stems, if I remember correctly, yes. She's in the closest, like, the tearful thing from Cantifor in the outskirts. I think people are under the misconception that Enkephalon is directly tied to Abnos, but it's implied it's to do with Elcorp singularity and humanity. Which, I guess that's true, to be fair, Dr. Pepler, because they haven't been able to, as far as where they haven't been able to recreate the level of production that the Elcorp was providing, right? So this has become a proper little law thing, hasn't it? Because this is, this is why things like with the previous like was it k corp with dong rang and so that's why things like that were happening because they were trying to they wanted more enkephalon right well kind of you know in a in a way basically like they can't produce as much enkephalon as they were so it is a bit more of an, an oddity but yeah i think the way that they managed to do it was implied to be linked to that singularity right what are you on 16 we're only on wave one okay I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Please do correct me if I'm wrong, but. Obviously, I've got to get my head around the law, you know? Yeah, and can the real thing, yeah. The art of the artwork says they produce it, but no, they're not exclusive producers. Yeah, because Abnos were human. I don't think the whales are human in the first. No, not the whales, but obviously the mermaids are. Well, in fact, real life Enkephalon is different. It's true. Yeah, that's true. But no, like, for example, like, m these mutants were human, though. But I guess it's potentially, obviously, as well, it's not just the singularity, but... Well, because that's the... Kajito. Keiko just wants to... <laughs> that's true. Is in human bodies in small amount. Yeah. Abnormalities just give it... Uh, just give way more to the point that alcohol could produce a lot of energy and stuff with it. Well, they also have the Kagito as well. As relevant to the well. Oh, I see. There's some dialogue parts in Lobcourt that kind of refer to the Great Lake as a relevant thing as well in Kigito, but it's kind of vague. That's. I actually hadn't thought of that. Huh. I wonder if the Great Lake is linked to that well. Good. Interesting. Thank you, BMD. That is. That is intriguing. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Gain full charge. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, actually, was Sinclair on 16? Hmm. Only on 79. Actually, I don't really want to use Shank. Oh no, but Mulate's quite good too. She's on each. Yeah. I don't think we need to, but. <laughs> 21, nice. The Great Lake and the Black Forest have been mentioned back at Lobcorp. Yes, because the Black Forest is where those birds were from, right? You can extract Enko from a human only once. Abnos can produce it indefinitely. Yeah. Wait, the Abnos didn't sue to be humans, they're just born from humans. Dongrang is dealing with power, different singularity. If they need Enkephalon, it was probably for power or as a drug. There's some, yeah. Hmm. I said there was ways to go through the other worlds through the Great Lake. Oh. Intriguing. Well, the stream of human consciousness could get you in the butt. Intriguing. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting, though. Well, because you've, you've got to think about it, right? Everything in this game, a lot of it has been imagery, right? To how things grow. So, I mean, for, for me, when I'm looking at the lake and how it sort of ties into everything, obviously, with there's this imagery of the big... You know, there's obviously like this imagery of like the big tree and stuff. How would the lake and water fit into this imagery? Because obviously we've got a lot of symbolic imagery. We've got like an imagery of a human body. We've got the tree imagery. You, like, how does the lake fit into this imagery is my big question, right? You're an 18, so we can do that once. We can do this twice though. Um, right around 100%. Ooh, you're struggling at the end there though, aren't you, mate? Well, that's not a bad thing actually, because yeah, we could, we could use you in a bit more of a negative way. 
Yeah, I wasn't ready for that one. Hmm. Order for the tree? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Murderous carry over here. But yeah, you just got to think that like everything in this game has pretty much been imagery linking into something else. So it's just like, what is the lake in that image? It's on the outskirts. I'll call for Lost Your Gosh. Dean and Kafalan's newest first movement. Right. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it's interesting how like law can link into all these things. Yeah, let's just do damage. Oh shit. Oh, what's up? Oh, actually, it should be okay. I think we'll be alright. <laughs> Shouldn't have just stood damage there. That was probably a bit dangerous, but if we were at the end of the fight, so hopefully it'll be okay. I hope, maybe. Yeah, we're fine. Whew. That was risky. I just accidentally used Ish's uh, the red one. <laughs> Woo! You sang with a triple kill? Hell yeah. A giant tree next to the giant lake serving as a supply of water. Mm. Which, yeah. But the question is, obviously, so, if the, so what is the tree giving? So what is the lake giving that tree? With the birds roasting and the trees with the eggs, yeah. Well, that's nice. Someone stood there waiting for us. He must have arrived here much earlier than we have. Oh! Oh! So there's someone talking at us! The butterfly we were following folded its wings and settled gently into his sloshing head. Wait, what? What? Oh! Oh, he's got... Oh. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, this suit's design looks cool. Oh, wait, is that a brain? So is, what is that? Oh, so what, a butterfly on one side and then, yeah, is that a brain? The flowing head? Uh, oh, here he is. He's got a water head. Oh, it's interesting how the path has been further from the center of the city and now we're in the outs. Yeah. I love this guy's signing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love the outfit. Oh, my God. It looks dope. His, the figure's voice was clear and precise and like that of the mermaids. Well, what is it? I don't know. But not like an abnormality. <laughs> what a handsome fella. <laughs> no idea. Don't look at his left hand. Okay. He's like, yeah, it's like, it's like an hourglass. Yeah. No, wait, is he a distortion? Yeah, <laughs> <He's clear. laughs> I'm just presuming we're busy mates. Yeah, are they a distortion or have they just had their head replaced by a fishbowl? <laughs> they don't sound like a distortion. Don't look at the... Why is the... I think they've accidentally cut off some of the fingers here. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. God damn it, Don. <laughs> I must certainly a distortion. Yeah, but are they a distortion though? Because Dante, bad cropping. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Oops, they just need to round that off. Yeah, water hourglass, whereas Dante is fire clock. Well, they're both for like, it's time. If you think about it, they're, don't, they're both linked to time. Oh my God, is there going to be more of them? Is this something specific? Because they both link to time and the elements. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, way. Oh, Earth Sundial, maybe. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait, is like Dante, could Dante be a distortion? I don't know though, because they seem to think that he had just had his head artificially replaced. Oh, I have so many questions. 
And the name is Rim. Okay. Head talks Dante takes. Yeah. Four elements of time. Oh, some distortions. Oh, some distortions still remain themselves. Intriguing. And they both talk about the stars. Dante's fire, the dude's water, war knows air and dirt. We've got like Avatar the Last Airbender in here. I call it 3 plus lunacy. The buff always makes him look cool. Yeah, he makes him really mysterious, right? Oh, man, I've got so many questions. There was a butterfly scene in I Yes. I don't think there's necessarily a connection between Dante and this guy. The designs are direct opposite of the point. It has to be intentional. Yeah. True. In okay. I was just thinking to myself, wandering wordsmith, I want to go back to the trailer now and see who was behind Damien, because I'm wondering if this was one of the characters that was back there. I I need to have a look now, because there was a character, I'm sure there was a character with a round head, and I'm just wondering if that's from the trailer. I need to go, I need to go back and have a look now, because I think they may have been? I don't know. Oh, they can cross. I don't like the look of them. I like the idea that it's Mirror World Dante. That's cool. That's actually very cool. Damien did have a guy with a ball head behind him. Oh, man. Imagine all of them are like... Imagine they were like mirrorverse versions of Dante. That'd be really cool. But obviously, it wouldn't make a lot of sense that they're here. But no, they must be linked to Damien then. Oh. Wow. Oh, I think that's really cool. Oh, man, I love the music for this. It's so cool. A Rolex. <laughs> It'll be the next one. David Flay said it. No. Uh, though the ball hit behind him seemed a bit more different than Rim. I get, but it's, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the blue guy. Mm. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a boss fight? <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, you're not actually off your game because you got it right, but yeah. Hmm. I still can't sense the golden bow this deep into the branch. There was truth to what he said. The bow was no longer here. Oh, fuck! Has someone taken the bow? Oh! Oh no, this guy's a different guy to Dante. If you want Dante, true, yeah. And this guy's fair, fair enough, yeah. They're definitely designed to parallel each other in some way. I do agree there's definitely a deliberate parallel. But I don't know why. Oh, you've got one thing the way. Oh, we see. He got it wrong, Georgie. Oh, okay. Oh, fair. Who took it though? Well, that's the worry. Oh, oh, I see. The guy behind Damien looks a bit different from him, but the form of distortion could change considering John Ryan's distorted fight. Hmm. I see, maybe. Yeah, we're only up to the Molder office at the moment, Des. Don't worry, don't worry. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, but yeah, if, if anything is hinting at Ruiner, we've just got to be really careful not to talk about it in this stream. But if it pops up in Ruiner when we do, then like I'm happy for people to be like, oh, that was in Limbus. This is what they were on about in Limbus. And I'll be like, oh, connection made. Whereas, yeah, if you don't do it in advance now, because otherwise it's giving me context that I don't want in case it spoils. But thank you. Oh, all the abnormalities went with them? Oh, no. Oh, well, that, oh, oh shit. Okay. Well, that's not good. Yeah, you want to stop us from getting it, but you're telling us anyway? Oh, 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 oh. 
그 날개 뜻의 울림을 좀더 나은 방향으로 이끄는 것이지. 음. Hmm. I like Damien and his group. Because Damien did kind of the similar thing, right? Where Damien interfered in Canto 3. And then it's kind of been dropping hints at us occasionally about the direction of things as well. It like are they a group that can kind of function to try to influence what's happening with the bows? Like are they are they there specifically for it? maybe yeah, maybe like a butterfly effect? Like maybe oh imagine they can like see the future and they're trying to like stop certain events from happening. So they're trying to make different things happen. And then Obviously, then that's going to have the butterfly effect over time, isn't it? Because if you if you have something that happens, say like the whale murders everyone, and then you go back and warn everyone that the whale's going to be at that place at that time and murder them, then all those people leave. Then there's going to be a butterfly effect of those people are now alive, and that is going to affect time. And the whale may not have killed anyone in that place, but now they're at home, and then that all reverberates over time and changes things. So maybe they can see the different futures, and they're trying to affect that time. Maybe they're acting on a higher motive. Maybe, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, that's just a, that's just a theory. I've never thought about butterfly effect with time motive. Yeah, but maybe this is like a group that can kind of function outside that memory chapter. They would have died if it wasn't for Damien. Yeah. So like Damien intervened at a point where we couldn't we would have died oh that's interesting okay but it explains why because like that group seems very specific i just wonder if there is something i was thinking that the connection makes sense though but yeah that's interesting oh so maybe that group are like because damien's obviously got the the um, mark on his head, right? And this person, maybe if they've, maybe for example, if this is some kind of like artificial thing they've had placed, then maybe they had something there as well. Maybe anyone who has these scars has some kind of ability that we don't know about yet. But you mentioned stopping something. If you watch Limbus Company trailer, you see the population count plummet and the date ahead of where we are now. Maybe, yeah, that's a good point actually. So, oh. Ooh, ooh, this could be a pretty valid theory. A game theory. We're cooking theories. This is interesting, so one can reverse time and the other can see the future. G cooking the gourmet stuff right here. This is this is all of us. This is a group effort, but that's just Oh man, I kinda wish Matt Pat was cooking with us. Hey, let's put a little pot together and <laughs> hire them to do a game theory video. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and look at uh, that trailer again. Pretty. Yeah, we. That's what Dad. Oh, okay. See? Oh my God! With it, who? Those will be sovereigns of a star. Oh my God! That is that. I reckon that's Damien's group. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Interest. Oh my god, that's such a good. Oh, uh, I think that's actually quite a good theory. Oh, that's interesting. A red mark briefly flashed on his head. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all gonna have marks. I. F oh shit. Oh, the marks on his brain. I fucking knew he was gonna have a mark. Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. I've seen that mark before on Damien. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my theory. This is what I'm claiming. We will see if it happens. Yi Sang shot a silent gaze in Rim's direction. Rim, 그렇다면 그대는 구인회의 끝에 대해서도 알고 있는가? 과거의 벗들이 어떻게 무너져 버렸는지 아느냐는 말일세. We four groups who share the same color so far. So N Corp, Herman, Name Red, Damien Blue. Berries with the blue. Look, purple, and then Sonia white. This corresponds to the damage types in Lob Corp. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Oh my god, don't tell me it's that one that was missing. Oh my god, don't tell me it's that one that was missing. 
뿔뿔이 흩어졌던 이들 중 하나 내게는 바다로 간다 이야기하여 놓고 그래 나는 한자 그저 하나인데 웨이 대답해 주겠네 이삼 내가 지켜보기만 하였는데 어 웨이 그것은 오문이오 What the hell does that mean? Yeah, is this Yi Sang's? Is that supposed to be the beginning? Oh,可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。可是我们不知道。
Was it Goob? It was Goobo, wasn't it? That Don was compared with. Like, that was the one that Don was playing. There's just, there's something there that's very suspicious. Bro, should a piece off me. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> so what teleportation, oh, what tele teleportation is you, Corp? Oh, the law. Sonia has the mark as well as Sinclair. Right. That makes sense. Okay. So only people that have the mark can see it. Huh. But obviously, if it's in a very early form, then they must not be able to. It was Go it was Gubo, yeah. No one's gonna be fighting sheep and stabbing windmills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm curious about Don, because I feel like there's this... With Don, it feels like there's this... I almost get like... I don't want to say like... A, I kind of want to say like a princess trapped in a tower kind of vibe with Don. Like they want it to be free and kind of explore the outside world. And they have this like almost kind of naive perception on things to an extent which is and like the fact that they're finally free like they finally get to go out there and they get to like say be the hero and save the day and i feel like they grew up with this really idealistic view of how the world was and then they've actually got out there and it's very and it's it's like how it was inside a little bit and i feel like there's that kind of with don but there is definitely a lot more stuff than that but i kind of get that that appear that sort of appearance with don i'm gonna have fun in the carnival and nothing's gonna go wrong i hope so Don, I think Don's is going to be one of the most dramatic. It's going to be sad. I think Don's going to be really sad. Oh, I just want to give Ishmael a hug. It's so sad. Half point of the game. If the tide shifted major, it would be, be there. Yeah. Where her mask falls. Well, yeah. And with the whole thing with Vigilis as well. Don's eyes have a perception filter similar to the one from... Oh, that's a cool theory. Oh, that's actually a really good theory. Well, I like that theory. Huh. The fact that Don is unfazed with gruesome death is already alarming. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Hong Lu as well. I wonder exactly what happened in childhood. Don is not that naive, but more with coping her reality. Yeah. Well, I mean, something like the perception filter would be quite an interesting one. Limus players went peak fiction. Am I right? You are so right. Oh my god. Guys, as well, don't forget, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button as well. It'd be very appreciated. But I hope you're enjoying so far, because I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> this is great. I'm like, ooh. Pallid bipedals begin to fill the roid limb uh, room left behind. Hmm. Hmm. Don is possibly most suspicious, suspicious sinner aside from you know, Otis and Hong Lu, I would add into that as well. Also Discord. Oh yeah, and if you haven't joined the Discord, please do. If you do exclamation point disc oh thank you, Miklash. Um yeah, you can join the Discord too. We talk about theories, all that good stuff in there, lots of good things in there. So yeah, please do join if you're interested. Sinclair on his forehead there was. The one who bisected Chroma with a flick of his wrist, the one who silently approached me to talk. I remember the one marked with the bright red sign. Gee, how was your Black Friday? It was, it was, it was all right. I was working, um, so it wasn't amazing, but I did manage to buy something that I'm going to be adding to the background of this stream when it eventually arrives, and it was on sale, so that was lush. How was yours? Ebbs? Like, ebbs and flows, it just kind of, like, moves, like, goes along with it. Like, occurs, I guess. Plus, isn't the theory that behind the perception filter eyes backed by the Ting Tang Gang in Kanto 2 saying that Don's, Don's eyes could be sold for a whole heck of a lot since someone brought it up? Maybe. Isn't Faust sus too? Faust is sus, but also Faust is, like, obviously sus. Whereas there's other ones where it's giving you hints of being sus, but not really. Hello, Alzac. How's it going? I've come, I've come from the dead. How are you doing? Um... Don is shown to be one of the more competent sinners with all of her high-ranking IDs. Her delusions seem to be holding her back. Mm. One of the first pieces... Oh, nice. Yeah. One of the first pieces of our sort of Limbus company shows a blonde little girl watching over what looks like the sun suspended above a blo blue glowing chasm. Might be a concept now from... Oh, that's cool. Do you know where that would be, BM? That'd be cool to see. Oh, what are these ones? Pallid Entwined Mermaid. Oh, it kind of looks like it's like two. Ugh. So that's the same, though. Okay, that's kind of similar. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. There's flipping five of them, so this is going to be a bit shite, isn't it? No, Mule ain't going to work here. Okay, yeah, that's a good one to use. Again. Yeah, that's 
just gonna bear. <laughs> Go on, roll low. So get your iPad. Oh, nice. I want to get, I want to get like some kind of tablet. That'd be really useful. Do well, I happen to party? Might do some art. Oh, nice. I hope you had a good time at your party. I hope, I hope you had a great time. That sounds fun. Rhino Ram. Shade that one. Please tell us, Peter. Do you know a lot of people miss that? Wait, what'd you say? Whenever Don mentioned being suspicious, I always remember chapter two and the voice deepens in the- Yeah, or even when she was acting as Gubo in Kanto 4, like, the way that she said the lines was really weird. And then obviously the whole thing with Vigilus. There's a few moments where Don acts different and it's really obvious and it's like, oh, that's strange. It's like when Hong- it's like with Hong Lu's whole section in that- in that Kanto, where he's like acting as a character and it's just like, how are you- like, oh, it's just, it's so weird. Oh, uh, you're not there. Like, on a 10, I'll save it. Yeah, wait, two. So the memories are written in Korean Morse code. They are, yeah. We, yeah, we, we talked about that before, yeah. When are you going to get Big Brother ID? I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know if they will, because they've already done two. They don't tend to do more than two. Do they? Has our battle pass go? Mine's 80. Mine's not quite there yet. ハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハッハ
You can the, the, you can imagine some really gutting <laughs> lyrics. Like that song could be so sad. Smith have already doing the song for this chapter. Yeah. I hope it's a collab one if they do. Is what I hope. Hopefully it'll be a collab. 40 damage. Yeah, I didn't have that yet. I have always less tedious than Robot Chapter 4, though. Yeah, true. We'll see. Hey. They never got on the filler fight, so oh, that's true. Yeah. They did make these ones a little bit longer, though, but that's fine. Millie Song by Youth with Chapter, sign me up. I hope so. Oh, the music's changed again. Four waves of pale enemies. Yeah, it's not like they're easy either. They're like, they do take a bit of a, a bit of a battling. To be fair, to get him, what you want now? Five? Okay. Yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> that initial boss singing. Oh. Maybe record a song in a bathroom, we're surprised if it ends up being that. <laughs> I barely reached the crowd EX clear due to how sturdy they are. Yeah. They, they are a little tough sometimes. Right, so what we need to do is save. So let's save the good moves. Du, 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 du. Building, you just gotta keep building. That can unleash hell in the next one. I don't manage to get noise panic triggered, see what it does. Never, no, not yet. It's quite a specific no, requirement though, isn't it? Go on the next level. Oh, is it bad? Okay, 19, 6, you're on 12. Okay, so we can do one of these. Mutilate is not going to be an option yet. I guess at least that'll... Um, 19, we can use this one. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that was a bad roll. My whip is so up and down. You want more increases? No. <laughs> We say life though, you look at the EX clear condition. Okay. Might sound crazy, but I want more difficult spiky vertical than this. Oh, you'd rather this game be harder? I think some of the fights can be quite hard, but I think also they have included ways for this game to be difficult with some of the other stuff they do. To be fair. Why oh, am I liking this music though? Um Shank yeah, demolish. Save that one, that one. Oh, I really don't want to use that. I don't think I'll get to this point, but just in case. Oh, close. Shank is really good move. Like, holy shit, Shank is such a good move. Nice. And there we go. That's round two. Song slaps hard. Gee, what are the level levels of your sinners right now? Most of them are nearly level 40. Not quite, though. Right, what are you on? Nine? So we can do this and then this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lose 20 SP, you're on that, so we can do this one. Ooh, you're so, wait, were you on 28? We're gonna do that. I can't afford to have Sinclair slip into, slip into a bad place. Experience the yeah. agony. Oh no. Shag the real new proof. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, is 5:30 gonna be a bit of a learning experience? Oh, does Sinclair just get staggered? It, it'll be fine. 
it'll be fine. Or it won't be fine, but we'll find out. Right, we on eight. Oh, your next one's struggling? It's fine. That 10 plus, that's gonna be, oh no, 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 we can't do that. That, that. Should be okay. I think most of them are staggered anyway, so it should be fine. Nice. Hey, Krimaran, hello, how's it going? Hey, Seth, how are you? So it works out. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom? Oh no. That's not what I want to hear. I watched this stream, just see 5.30? You're kidding. <laughs> oh no! G pull for the new middle ideas? Yes, I did one temple, but I didn't get it. So I'm going to have enough to do another 10 once I finish this, so we'll be doing another one. One must imagine Georgie using Ego. I'm trying to not rely on it so much, but I will just crack out the Egos if I need to. <laughs> I will just crack them out. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Why? Don't vroom vroom, please. I'm scared. What does it even mean? I'm worried. 29? God damn it. I don't think we're at that point yet. Uh, this rate. Hack. Very nice. Gain 7 charge. Good. Lose 10 SP. That's fine. Then we'll do defense on the last one. <laughs> Room for mutilate never rolls head for real. Sometimes it goes well. And it's great when it does, but sometimes it really does not. Go on, Greg, you got him. No, come on, Greg! No! My boy! God damn it, Greg just got slapped. Oh, I think that just... Did that just... Stagger Greg? No, nearly. Oh, that was close. For a minute there, I thought one of my characters were missing. I was like, where the hell have they gone? Right. Oh, let's see. Gain two charge. Yeah, nothing else I can use there. What are you on? Sinking? Yeah, I can use that. Then full bleed. You're on 29 still. Okay. What are the chances? It's 14. That'd be 40. 43. That'd be too many, wouldn't it? That would be. Yeah, so. Yeah, that should be right. Seven plus seven. Seven is 30... 36. And then plus seven is 43. Yeah. So. All right, that should be fine, I think. Yeah, and then it goes on when you win anyway, so it's fine. I don't think the enemies are. Me too. <laughs> Mods, thank you for doing such a great job keeping the spoilers at bay, but chat, please, please, please do not spoil. If something is about to happen, it, it'll happen when it happens. Please don't spoil. It's not just me that it ruins the experience for, it ruins it for other people as well. So please don't spoil. The, the mods do have permission to time people out if, if they're not gonna behave. So yeah, please try not to spoil. It does ruin the experience for everyone. Okay, we should be able to kill on this turn. We should, oh, wait, were you on 19? No, you're fine. I think we'll be okay. Maybe you gain 10 times every time. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I know. But sometimes Sinclair doesn't win and you're like, oh. EX clear miss. Ah, I'll be right. I'm not that bothered. At the end of the day, if I miss any of the EX clears, I've just been going off. I'll just do it after stream. It's fine. I'm just playing for the story, you know? It's all good. Great for new lunacy. I think, I, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm really not that bothered. I'll live. I'm just playing for the story, so. Limiran and Yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
I was about this game, but if it's like the orange thing, just saying a word enough to generate expectations and affect experience negatively, just wait till it happens. Yeah, I, that, I, yeah, that's, that's right, Kuri. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm here for your thank you. How to get demolished later chapters of this spoilers, guys. <laughs> yeah, let me get demolished in my own way. <laughs> So you can do off stream. Yeah, it'll be fine. No, I don't think Damien did either. Oh. <laughs> we all know what that means. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit of 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 a 그래도 얼굴 튼 사이니까 뭐라도 알거 아니야. 뭐 없어? 내가 알던 그와는 너무도 달라진 터라. 음. 갈피를 잡지 못하겠어. Let's get out of here first. It's pretty clear that the golden bow isn't here anymore. Well, your village Vigilus is going to be happy about that, isn't he? 남아 있는 이들은 어떻게 되는 것인가? 우리가 손쓸 수는 없다. 알고는 있지만 哦，你생각대충할것도같지만포기할건포기하라。이미늦은것도있는법이더라。살아보니까。哦，왜이래？난위로도다할줄아는사람일줄이야。哦，he's <웃음> 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 With the pallid mermaids and intelligible signals, signals echoing behind us futilely, we decided to leave the lobotomy court branch. We will likely never understand them. Unless you're in my Discord translating them! <laughs> Pretty sure Rodian can't because she didn't even know about it, yeah. Oh, it makes it sad. So, wait, so what was the thing I missed? So, EX objectives. Oh, clear within 10 turns. Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. So... Oh, it's Simeon. So we were waiting by the entrance where the sudden shock, oh, sudden shock shook the lobotomy court branch. We hurried out and gazed into the mist and saw an intimidating looking vessel emerge. Oh shit, okay. Oh, okay. So something bad's about to happen. Got it. Damn, Sinclair rising across all associations. <laughs> Verge that range. No golden bow, no survivors. Poor tongue. Get a melting love ego. It should go to, oh, do the temple. Oh, I will do it in a bit. <laughs> I'll do it soon. Seroon she's on a takumer posting and key of eleven. Oh, I see. Ah, it's fine. I'll, I'll be able to do it. I'll just do it later. Kintan ten kissel. But Tony Rocketolin and Gamunen, Tam the Amore to cook as you look at your men. Also, Hundo Connor has a good air coat and there. Oh, Greg. Oh, he's like me. I can't swim either. Could I am elder Ramion? Right, well, that's not good. Um, cause yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, don't know. 정말 가는 것이오? 그 풍차만한 아니, 십차만한 아니, 송차만한. Sorry, sorry. 고래를 찾으러 말이오? Oh, wait, a whale as big as a windmill? I mean, as large as a mansion? Nay, it's grand. Weird comparison. Yeah, that's, uh, 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 oh. I don't know. I went off stream to finish the story, skip the cutscenes that happened before they find the LCCB team, and after finishing the episode, this counter is truly one of the one of the moments. It's been so good so far. Ah, windmill mention. Yeah. Huh. Stone's thing, yeah. Close to Greg will be fine. <laughs> it's very notable. I I know of Don Quixote. I haven't read the source book, so I'll have to I'll have to look more into it. But yeah, there's a few things that have been hinted that I want to look out for Don and Hong Lu. From the original book reference, yeah. Sinclair and Dante saw the mark, but Rim said nothing. We already mentioned Rim having a mark, so she, can she see it now? Well, big question mark. Could, so. Dante can see the marks, right? So does Dante have a mark? Or did Dante have a mark before? Big question mark. 
Just wondering. Or is it because of the golden bow? I'm presuming it's because of the golden bow and the clock, but I wonder if actually he had a mark. And maybe that's a link to who he actually was before. Big question mark. Uh, yeah. Super duper long, yeah. I'll probably read a, you know, notes or something with the bows, yeah. Hmm. 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 I mean, well, to be fair, because the, the group, as I term them, hot but evil, um, they're also after the golden bows. So to be fair, why not just let them fetch the golden bow and then we can just get it from them? Because <laughs> they're going to surely be a lot easier to fight than the whale. Uh, they probably make windmills turn by launching babies at the... Oh god, I hope not. Didn't see me last time, who knows, it still counts. Yeah, people who can see the back don't actually have it, but have the potential to obtain it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got such few info about Dante. Well, that's kind of the point, isn't it? Yeah. They don't exist because clean. Huh. Hot but evil is their canon team name. <laughs> yeah. So if team hot but evil, like if they want it, just let them go and get it. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> I know, I was, I was looking back to when I was making my video the other day and um, it was, there was a moment where Greg's hot mum, Herman, was saying to Greg about, um, like, can he unlock his full potential? And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And I realised it's not come up since. And I'm just like, what does it mean? Ooh. Ooh. The aspect was alluded to in the light. Huh, okay. Hot and even morally great, I can fix <laughs> Honestly, I love how it's just thing that Heathcliff likes Don. There's a moment right there, plus one in Canter 4 when he asks about Dante to remember first. Yeah. Well, I think, I think Heathcliff does like them and I think he does care about them, but he does it in his own way. Chance for more? Hmm. True. Ismail Shia Masundero. I don't do this. Okay, we'll just go and, you know, gather, gather whale. Let's go. Yeah, Chroma's got the same hairstylist as Yenlan from Genshin. <laughs> They've got they've got quite similar haircuts. <laughs> and um Jin Q. <laughs> Gregor becomes a full cockroach like in the book. Oh man, it retains immortality. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. Just about nearly anyone in this community will find some Violet Crim Hot and honestly say. <laughs> uh like Carmen Bug Rider, that would be kinda sick, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, so no, I don't see I don't see it personally with Chroma. I hated Chroma. <laughs> what? Oh, a sudden shock shook everyone. Oh no. Let's get out of here first. I don't know. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of ships. Oh, okay. What? What? I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit! Oh, it was as Heathcliff said. We, when we first got to this branch, the water level was down there, but now it had risen high enough that the waves were lapping at the platform we were standing on. Oh, cool! It does look dope, though. Not, oh my god, that's cool pirate ship. Oh, cool. One Piece is real. <laughs> Shit! Oh no, we're at the Grand Line! <laughs> I just started One Piece, it's really good. I'm watching it on my Patreon at the moment, it's great. Oh god, they're firing things at us. Oi! Stop it. Numerous harpoons suddenly riddled the ground we were on. We were being bombarded with harpoon shots, flung with nary a care whether it hits one or not. Ugh. 
Ryoshi parried a few harpoons away with the back of a sword, but there was- Oh, that's so cool! Holy shit! Ryoshi just parrying harpoons. Holy fuck. That is dope. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it's those twit hook pirates! <laughs> Absolutely adopting that name. That's amazing. Thanks to that Oryx and men's be capable of movement. Why does it sink and hide hide? Why well, I don't think it's sinking, I just don't know if it's moving right now. Like is it actually still moving? Or is it just that it's just adapted to that point? Twit hook, I love that. Most casual Ryoshi moment, it's so cool. I still can't believe Smee is hot, I can. Oh, it's not full strength. Yeah, that's true. 잠깐, 조금만 머리를 굴려보면 알수 있잖아. I'm so sorry. That is not how you. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, you can't. They can't say that. Just use your knobs for once. That's not how that. No. That. No, that's not. <laughs> what does that even mean? Well a, well, a knob is a penis. So that is not. I think they mean nog, like noggin. I think they're meant to say noggin. Yeah, that. Yeah, I've got to talk to the translator. <laughs> that's, that's not the right use of that at all. <laughs> Heathcliff, you want us to do what now? <laughs> oh my god. You should have, yeah, but you can spell it that way in English slang. That's that's really funny. Who's <laughs> my wife? Oh, that's... Oh no. Oh yes, that's really bad. <laughs> you can't blame the British man. I, I mean, I can, because I'm British, and that is... N you, you do not use the word that way. <laughs> That isn't how British work, not like on a head G. No, but that is not a British, like, I've never heard knob used that way, ever. Like, you don't know. I think they mean, like, noggin. Oh, that's really funny, though. Holy shit. I think he, yeah, I think he means, like, noggin, like, nog. Yeah. Slide. I think that's, like, translation error. He's not used of <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> oh man, sorry, that's hilarious. Hey, the both heads, true. <laughs> oh man, that is so funny. Uh, but that's what he meant, boy. <laughs> the pirates are already in dismay. The British isn't British in true. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna probably be used as a term for head, apparently. I've never heard that. I've never heard that. D like, Heathcliff's from, like, North England, and I'm from North England. That is not... That's not... I mean... No, that's not how that's used. I can, I can tell you that right now. That's... I've never heard it used as that before. You can ask anyone who's British. You, that's not... <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> It's, it's fair enough, but yeah, that's no. <laughs> so that's how. I think I think it's meant to mean losing your head. But, but that's what a noggin is. Noggin means head, so I think he meant nog as in noggin, but they wrote knob. So yeah, it's not the right word. Oh, here we go. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Oh. My god, that is a Spongebob reference. I bet that's because of Gregor. <laughs> oh, I love the little Spongebob reference. That's perfect. Like, people are called knobheads, so maybe he's being vulgar. Yeah, but you'd never say it like that. Oh, that pirate looks dope. Oh, look at his fabulous beard. Tough twin hooks pirate. So hit me harder. Oh, I think it hit me right here. Even harder. And then looting. Copies the targets one through. Oh, is that that's similar to what um Smee could do, right? Are you ready, kids? So passive. So if the unit has poise, gain five poise. Oh great. Every turn the damage up. Gain one protection, gain additional 
Ain't that a prick? Okay. I think these are similar to previous. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay, let's do it. The background goes hard. It looks so, oh, look at the ships and the way they're moving. That's so cool. Looks great. Yeah, Korean uh, Greg voice Mr. Krabs. I, I need that as an ID. That would be amazing. Yes, please. I'm down for that too. Right, yeah, that's not gonna be mine strike. Hmm, I mean, either way is a bit of shit, to be fair. All right, let's go down. <laughs> I think that that pyro dude's gonna be hard to fight. I have a horrible feeling. Wait, chat, don't cook! Chat, get out of the kitchen quickly! Okay. Oh, they, uh. oh, did we kill one already? Oh, I didn't even see. Hope so. David. Oh, that's a shame. So, yeah, oh, wait. Uh, nah, they're struggling. Alright, yeah, won't do that. Like rupture. Ooh, I mean, you're on four, so I could really do with you struggling a bit, so I'm not gonna say no to that. Like, have you seen how many pirate ships are on? I wonder if the glitch with the music in this level is still here. Have you, are you enjoying the story? Is is it the greatest canto? Oh, it's great. I am very much enjoying the story of this one. It's really good. I don't know if it's the greatest canto because I need to see dungeon. Because with the canto four, it was amazing, but then the dungeon really, like, tied everything together so beautifully so i need to see how the dungeon like i need to always finish this canto and then see how the dungeon does because the dungeon's a really important part of it so it needs to be able to like build the dungeon for me yeah let's go with that what are you on now you're on 11 hell yeah we can use this um throat slit Ooh, gregor's struggling let's oh, actually i don't think we've got anything we can use now nah, let's not do that Oh yeah, there is no music. There is no music, yeah. Can't watch the stream because I'm stuck in Canto 4. Oh no, Nitch, whereabouts are you stuck? They gotta fix a couple of things, yeah. I mean, we can just, you know. Oh, who lives in a pirate ship under the sea? Oh no, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> Just come up with our own music. Let's, let's write. Should we write our own sea shanty? We should just write one. Let's write one in case in case they don't provide us with one. 15 SP. That's great. It feels so awkward that music. <laughs> I'm such an awkward demon. I'm like, oh. Uh, let's do that one. Throw it slightly again. Yeah. Go for it. Come on. Blood Steep Scent is one of my faves. Let's do it. Yeah, there's no high music. Yeah, it's a shame. SpongeBob, Square Pants. <laughs> SpongeBob Square Pants. SpongeBob Square Pants. SpongeBob Square Pants. Yeah, play a vantage theme for this stage of blood. Big Lasage. The music is kind of fitting. Well, yeah, I mean, there'd be no music in the real fight, to be fair. You're not wrong, but. Ooh, Hong Lu. Those were some horrific roles. Who lives in a pirate under the sea? Hopefully, I'll come back next wave. There we go. There we go. It didn't return for me. We got it back. We got it back. Waves lower the emotion return to track one, but when track two comes on. Oh, I see. Okay. So we'll have it back for a bit. Well, you're on 21. Sweet. 21. Mm-hmm. Well, you're on now 25. Okay. We can handle that. What is it? Three rounds? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get that, but we'll give it a go. Give it a whirl. The music, the musician need the lunch break, yeah. But the stage is goaded. The music was hard there, I felt and easy in this story. Oh yeah, it's been really good at being very unsettling. But I don't think it's fair to judge this counter as the best one until I've played the dungeon. And it's just because the dungeon really is where a lot of the emotional reveals and like ends to the stories will happen. And I feel like this is really building up to the dungeon. Obviously we're getting a lot of reveals, but I think with, especially with Ishmael's past and what's gonna happen with her, We'll definitely get the payoff in the dungeon unless something big happens in a minute and I'm about to be like, why? So yeah, I need I need that payoff in the dungeon. We on 18. Sweet. Well, love a little bit more. <laughs> you say rolling heads challenge impossible. <laughs> Truly. Fucking <laughs> over. <laughs> Funny enough, I actually want to write a SpongeBob theme as an introduction to me for Shock and Holly. Oh really? That's so cool. Yes! Get him, Greg. Nice. Get those twit hooks. 
Oh, more Chova. <laughs> Apparently so. But what Chova will happen, so you have to trust me. Ah, uh, I trust you. I trust you. You've you've now stated it, so we now all need to believe. The copium is in your hands. Right. Don, you oh panic mode, perfect. Right, Don. Oh, you not Don. What am I talking about? Sinclair. Oh my god, my brain. It's because I'm still thinking about that middle finger, the the Don one. That's really annoying. I could really do with him having a little break, but he's right at the end, so that's not gonna happen. That's really irritating. Ah, oh well. Ah oh well. I mean, I'll put it on, but I could really do with you having that break, dude. I mean, no, because then I'll do it next turn, won't it? Ugh. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Nothing I can do. No one's ready for 5.30. I don't think I am either. Use block, yeah. But it's just because it won't it won't count, will it? Because... Oh, no, it did count. Oh, legend, I didn't realize that was going to count. Sweet. Okay, cool. No, that's fine. That worried me then. I hope there's a whale-shaped, like, dog wings cow. <laughs> you can absolutely edit that. People just sorting thinking Farmwatch would be a wild purchase ID. No, I want I want the next wild purchase to be from Lob Corp or Ruiner. Like, it's a cool throwback, and it, it links them in together a bit more, like, a bit nicely, and it's nice to see how they're, like, reflected in this game. I, I, I want them to continue doing that, especially because I'm playing Ruiner, so it's, like, nice to see the connection, you know? Well, this should be... Might be a good round. Come on. Yes, nice. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna kill him, but... Mm, that was not great. Oh, my farm already. The box has turned stuff. Perfect. He thinks that, that makes a lot of sense in the term. Oops. Which he belongs to war in the 18th century. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, fair enough. It... That's... That's fair. It just... As someone who's British, because it's not something that's really... That's just not how it's used nowadays. So it is just going to be funny in that sense. That's fair enough. Yeah. I think that's also the difficult thing is because this doesn't really say, like, what, like, era this is set in and stuff and, and time and stuff. So it is kind of hard sometimes to sort of know language-wise if something's relevant. Because a lot of the stuff that Heath says, wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily have been like, oh, he's using, like, 18th century England language. Like, a lot of it's stuff that, like, we would say now. Whereas, yeah, you don't use knob in that way. So it's just, yeah, that one threw me a bit. Head to mute, like, happened. Fin ID for Sinclair. That would be cool. I'm copious. I'm really hoping that, um, Don gets their, um, red mist. Ooh, that was a nice one. Good job-ish. Yeah, it's far future, yeah. Based on different time periods, yeah. Make sure future and yield, yeah. Okay, well now we're on the one that I'm apparently screwed on. Oh, the big brother! Okay, so we were making relatively short work of the ambushing pirates, but I had a feeling that they were just gorging our capabilities. Now that I mention it, the largest and gaudiest vessel from their fleet has yet to hook us. Oh no. Level 40. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This is about to go bad. Oh, this is about to go bad. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have bad stuff happen. Bad stuff is gonna happen, isn't it? This, I'm not ready. Oh no. Oh, I've got, I've got to bring it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, okay. Um, oh, temple. Oh yeah, you're right. Let me, let's do that first. It's a good job I looked. Oh, I'm scared. Now we're just, now I love how now we're just delaying the inevitable. Okay, let's do this. Right, come on. Just clear the stage. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Okay, I'll read, I'll read the, right. I have the fries up. Time to cook. Oh, this one won't be so badly first time around. Oh, no. I'm afraid. I'm scared. It's okay, George. You just hit them really, really, really hard. Oh, God. Just bring as many good blunt ideas as you have. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Please come home. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude. May I give a suggestion? Please do. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. Oh no, God, don't, don't do that. I don't, I don't have enough. Oh, okay. That's a shame. But hey, I'll take another Faust. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Cool. Was not expecting that. Fair. <laughs> okay, I'll go fast. I'll take that. Oh, great. 
<laughs> no suggestion, you will harm the experience. <laughs> yeah, oh, this was pretty good. Okay, that. I'll take that. It's the Yuri Faust. I'll take that, the Yuri cosplay. Oh, so is that what the other one is? I'll take that. Speaking of Lomi, perfect. It's, it fits because of where I am. Okay, right. The question is who the hell are we going to bring with us for this one? Because... This is, this is where, this is where we're going to get a little bit, this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky. I feel like I'm just going to try and do it like I normally would, and then we'll take suggestions. So let's just see how badly, this is where I struggled for so many times. Okay, she's actually my favorite fast. Oh, sweet. It's actually really good for the first portion of Mario Dungeon 2 Hard. Oh, good to know. Talk about Lobotomy. The yellow Lobotomy fast. Perfect. Great. Perfect. You need blunt damage and blunt resistance. Right. What? Talk about you. Did you get the Yuri announcer, G? No, not yet. No, I'm still. I, I usually what I do. What I did last time was I fully maxed out the. Well, I like fully maxed out all the levels of the battle pass you can kind of see up to, and then I bought the battle pass so I got everything at once. Um, just to make sure I got my money's worth. It was more than worth it, but yeah, I need to. I need to buy it because I'm. Yeah, not yet. It's good to have. Uh, this level destroyed my sanity. Well, I should be fine. I did this fight with one bleed team on super optimal. Right. We're just gonna try it. We'll see how what happens. There's no point, no point changing my team yet because I may as well just see what happens. And then we'll go from that. She got a first try. It was only half of me since all my IDs were fatal to blunt. I didn't deal any blunt damage and all my IDs were level 35 instead of level 40. Yeah, let's just give it a go. Let's see how it goes. And then we'll, we'll cater, we will cater to it. You're gonna have a sense of urgency in this fight after going through it once. Oh, great. <laughs> We're fending them off somehow, but... It looks cool. I like this ship. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, oh, God. Do you got this? Yeah. Oh. Rodia rarely ever shows this much fear and anxiety. That weird guy up there? He's been posing like that over there ever since this whole mess started. What? What's he doing? Right, this is the big brother. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Sinclair! What's a bitch, brother? <laughs> what an amazing, what an amazing time for Sinclair to mistranslate. Big guy's kind of hot. Ooh. Oh. Sorry about bringing this up now, but what's the middle? Oh my god, Dante. Just the mere mention or mere sight of them alone seems to shock and intimidate a lot of people. Remember how they pretty much traumatized Pilot? Well, then should we not run? Oh my god. Well, if even Ryoshi thinks we're all basically fucked, we are screwed. Ah! Okay! Ryoshi, even you? Okay, Dante. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wait, was this the dude that was in the trailer then? Oh. He's wearing sunglasses in this gloomy. Oh my god, they've even got a red carpet. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, this is a bop. Don't take beyond the recognition. Yeah, she's worryingly acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! 
It'll kill oh, whatever it is. Oh, his design is dope. Oh, what's this? Huh. Are these the fingers, maybe? Oh man, watch him do the Duff of Go walk. <laughs> watch out for string, string fruit, okay. Oh god, Book of Vengeance. Oh, this music goes so hard, dude. But oh, don't stop the music. I was having a great time. Oh, hey, set from the legends. <laughs> oh my god, that's accurate. Holy shit. Yeah. Middle signature, you'll learn it when you get to the middle. Okay. Well, the tires look so low. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there's no fun. This is a low star of the city and tier enemy, by the way. Oh no. Matt's not set. Oh, Drew, he's set. No, he got neck, king, gum, go to Taragan and Barame Marije. A bulky ancient book hung from his waist, secured in place by thick chains. He lifted it with his hand. Oh no. Oh no. The middle wiped from his hometown. Right. Oh dear. Oh, no, cuz this guy didn't know. No way, he didn't know. Oh, shit. Oh, you Great. 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 So another sin on top of all the other sin. The big brother began flipping through pages, taking time to wet his fingers. That's hilarious. Oh, it's William Afton. <laughs> Silence. The urge to blurt out what the hell are you talking about was palpable, yet it was suppressed by an unknown, incredibly patient force. Sonoro,움켜쥐었을때안정감있고부드럽게잡히는것이푹신이며꺾으라게손가락을뚫고나오는가락들이퍼썩이다그중에서도최상의푹신이되기위해서는매일같이인고와단련의시간과섬알겠
and the big brother tossed a piece of paper before us. On it was a picture. Heathcliff? <laughs> Oh my god. It's colorful kitty stickers. Oh my god, Heathcliff, why? That's hilarious. Oh my god, Heathcliff needs a new hairdo. That's true. He needs to look good for seeing Kathy. That's what it is. Oh my god, that's hilarious. The uncontrolled British artist is still under the not nailed down and reading, please. <laughs> what an <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Heathcliff, do you know who, what, or where these coupons were for? <laughs> Why is he still a hair salon? He probably just thought it'd be worth something, I'm guessing. It's definitely gonna be Heath's ID. I hope so. And he's had his hair done. And like, maybe the ID is like him in the <laughs> salon <laughs> having his hair done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I think he got them for Ishmael. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> See, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Oh, he started using acronyms. With his extended passionate speech coming to an end, the big brother of the middle and Don Quixote both wiped tears from their eyes. That book has instructions gave someone steals their hair salon coupons? Ah, great! Oh, he does look really cool. Oh, his tattoos are glowing. That's so dope. Ryoshi threw her one last cigarette to the ground, smoked down to the butt. Oh, I am really excited for Ryoshi chapter. I want to see her kick ass. And then the big brother quite literally soared into the air. Oh, I still have a Sinclair had bitch sense when he said it, but Ryoshi just said it straight up. <laughs> well, George, you fun. Thanks. Ooh, here we go. Okay, three rounds. Ooh, right, let's have a read. Sturdy little brother of the middle. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so we've got right in the solar plexus, paralyzed next turn. If this unit has shield, gain one attack power up. Okay, passives. Every time a middle ally is killed in this counter, gain one offense level up. Shit, okay. Upon clash lose, gain one minus coin boost next turn. Raise the power of minus coins by the... Oh shit, great. And the middle allies kill, gain a plus. Oh, god damn it. Okay. It's great, are they all the same? Yeah, right. Okay, this song goes to heart. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I have done one of these. I don't even think we've done one of these. This. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. We're all doing the same bloody move. Okay. Right. Let's see who's who. Oh, this one. One in. Oh, so they're all at Greg. Okay. And what's Greg out for? Okay. So at least we can redirect. Right. Well, let's deal with. Okay. That's Hong Lu's, and that's Ish. God damn it, right. Okay. Okay, right. So let's go with... Gain some charge. It was just that one. So let's do... Neutral. Okay. Just pair them up and then we'll see what we can move. 
Alright, nothing to my salt. Who's got the neutral? You. Turn two. He magets me. Oh, the music is nice. You gonna finally get like Dom soon? Ugh, he's an out. Oh, god damn it. These fuckers have got such high health as well. This is gonna be bad. Deuce is strong, he's got an Abner rank. And it's not even like these guys are these guys aren't strong either. Oh god, and they're all using the same. Oh, we got one staggered. Okay, I'm nearly dead. Great. Well. Alright, let's figure out which two are going after him then. Okay, so Greg, you're gonna do this. Favoured. Mersault. Neutral. <laughs> okay, then that one is ish. Neutral. Can you take over? No. Okay, then you two are gonna get rid of that one. Young, young, get His LF ranking, oh man. No surprise if roughly equivalent to the cloth to press LF. <sighs> this is gonna take ages. Okay, we got one down. And this is only the first round. <laughs> He's a mid rank. He's already a mid ranking member. We're so screwed. Okay. Oh, he's got. Two paralyzed. Okay, fix the power of two points for this series. God damn it. Okay, oh, that's a low morale going though. Hell yeah. Let's get more than my. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Alright. Who you got you? Right, back there. Seven. Perfect. You can have that. Okay, then. Hello. I got that one. Okay. That's what you got any to you. That one, so that's fine. What do you want? Hopeless. Hopeless, okay. Twelve. So, just got more salt to deal with. That was you. Young, young, get up! Finish is actually really good here, yeah. I was gonna say, like, getting them into stagger is, like, the best way to do it, but, yeah, this is gonna take me a while. But it's like, she put down the X cliff feed. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Desperately gonna need it for this one. To be about 10 tries on so this chapter. God. The music is dope, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on. Oh, ish, let's, oh my god, ish, let's fucking go. Nice, oh, we got them both staggered, perfect, right, let's try and get a setup for round two. Okay, Greg, you defense, right, where are you? Right, you need to use one. Okay, you have got seven. Gain four charge, okay, that's good. Right, Hong Lee, we're gonna save. Okay, you, what you want now, 13? Yeah, we're gonna use you. And then you, I'm gonna build as well. <sighs> <laughs> Even if it takes me another round, I'd rather have them start building up for the next round. Music scold, yeah. Please be patient, chat, yeah. 
thought I need to. So you're gonna go through Ruinous Transmission names. Yes, this already video is visual based doing solo IDing this fight. Oh, the egg. Right, round two. Okay, same, same, same moves. Same moves. Okay. All right, let's go again. Ooh, sweet. All right. Uh, okay, so Mersal, hello, where are you, buddy? 10 charge, Queen Pilot plus two. We're definitely using that. I think a few of them are going for him this time, yeah. What are you on? Four. Okay. Couple are going for you, Sang. Okay. And again for Greg, right, that back one there. Okay, that's good. So, ish, we need to build you back up. Okay. Honglu, you've got that one. Okay, so let's go for the struggling, I'm hoping, neutral. Right. So I just sold this base smart. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, see, I'm one of those where I'm like, I just want to get through the fight. I just want to get through. Are you actually really want to play, Georgie? I just press win rate. Yeah. I do actually try to do it properly as much as I can. When I do mirror dungeon, I press like win rate, but yeah, I do actually like to try to like, because the thing is I like to try and build it so I'm benefiting myself for the next round. Especially if the next round we're gonna have some flipping OP bloody dude. So I wanna build up my characters as much as I can, really. Oh my God, think of the thumb IDs. They're gonna be nuts. Um, okay, so. I've got a similar thing again. Okay, all right, so we've got, what are you actually on? I can't see, I can't see. What are you on? Four, okay, damn, it's annoying. Um, you're on six, oh god damn. All right. Struggling, struggling. I don't really want to use that if he's struggling, because it's such a waste. Unless, no, actually, you don't really struggle in it, though, do you? Let's see if we can do it anyway. I'm gonna put faith in him. David. Five rupture, that would be good. Dominating, perfect. And then you, I'm gonna save up for the next round. And I don't think we're gonna be at the point of killing yet, so let's do throat slit, but I'd rather do that and then that one. Yeah, I think self destructive purge doesn't really work the same way. That's a shame. Still did some damage though. Muscle too big to use something, yeah. Don't name drop Runa stuff. Yeah, we just gotta be careful with with Runa's with Runa stuff, because I'm still playing. Don't forget that if you wanna see me playing Runa, don't forget to follow. Or subscribe, I should say. I do try to play it once a week. Also, probably be next week we play it next though. Oh, there's no tears for next week. No teasers yet? Yeah, it'll probably be sometime next week though. You say with win rate. You might be able to do with this, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cope him on that because. Okay, we've got a few staggered, that's good because the last round could absolutely wipe my ass. Although the good thing is I'm trying to build up ego stuff. So worse comes to worse, sun showers coming out and we're just gonna cope him. Um, but I would like to try and do this, right? You've got 16. Great, let's build you more. Dominating, perfect. Ooh, I'm gonna save that for next round. Neutral, okay, let's use you to get rid of some. Okay, that's gonna be a great one to get rid. One hit, one hit. Yeah. Okay, Mutilate might be the time to use it now. Wady Bash, what, you're on 10? Gain two, gain four. Yeah. Dominating in that one. Dominating in that one. I don't think we need to do that. Who's attacking? You've got that one, you've got that one, you've got that one. Well, who's got the most health? Add to that. Kill up, what's it? Okay, one down. Ego spam is going to be super helpful in round three. Yeah, I don't want to do ego spam, but 
I'm just gonna... Nice! He fucking did it. Nice. Good job, Hong Liu. We're just gonna have it as backup in case I start. Like, if someone dies, I'll start. I'll get the egos out. Oh god, this music is going so hard. Okay. Surely Mule will hop roll heads. It truly really did. And we got low morale, which is great. Okay. Right. We need a build for next round. You're on 17, you're on 9, you're on 19. That's a good build. So, let's keep building this. I'm gonna save that one for next one. Okay, they're neutral. I'd rather use that. Okay, let's save Shank because that's a very good move. Um, actually, no, that's going to be better using on that. Yeah, then you I can build and you can 45. Okay, have we got four on there? No, who doesn't? Oh shit. Wait, who on my assault? That's neutral. Neutral. Okay, you're going better flare. Okay. Limits is a good game. Oh, Limits is a great game. Hey, is the same game good? Oh, God, this game's amazing. I would 100% recommend this game. What kind of other games do you like? Um, because if if there's like another one that's similar, I can obviously like advise. They're harpoons. I'm not gonna say anything so wavy. Yeah, but Ego Spam isn't gonna be as strong as you think. Probably not. But it just but like for example, hopefully I can get Sun Shower out and a bit of like bind and stuff. Okay. Oh god, this is oh I'm sweating. <laughs> if I press Win Wait Rider, I win. Because it's it's about making your chances of winning the best that you can do it's not that you're gonna win it's just that like that's the best stuff that you've got available to potentially win you guys ready to sigh of this stage kind of looks like darkest dungeon it does look like darkest dungeon i would agree does it kind of play like a roguelike rpg it's more of like a i wouldn't say it's like a roguelike rpg i would i'm scared i would say it's more kind of like a um what's the way of saying it like a kind of like story told and then the fights are kind of like this okay punchy yeah right so we've got two little brothers of the same okay ricardo looking dope okay so what have we got here we've got punching we've got oh wait here you go punching blood damage three power shit that's a little paralyzed on three coins payback target loses sp Dominia. So apply one attack up to all allies. If black inflicts two a tower pack down to enemies with the least SP. Well, okay, Sinclair could be in trouble then. Passive. So every middle ally can this counter gain one offense level. Okay. All allies heal 10 SP at the start. Shit. Okay. When an ally from the middle is killed, gain one plus coin boost. If the enemy is touching unit fails to more than 12 HP down to their skill, the enemy loses 10 SP. Oh, is that that last one? Okay, well the good news is we're mostly at 45, so apart from Sinclair, who I kind of want to be lower. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, question mark offense level. <laughs> it's got more like elements, yeah. It's turn-based, yeah, a visual novel. That's the one, yeah. Don't kill the clashy of the brothers, yeah. Okay. Oh god, right, okay, this is gonna be kind of terrifying. Okay, right. Well, first of all, I can tell you right now, can you even intercept that? I don't, can you? shit okay all right well it looks like we're putting sinclair out front okay well the bad news is the on um, only one of these three can clash i mean ish might actually have a good chance here okay that's good right you're on the assault so what do you got for me a 10 charge count you deal with that hopeless hopeless <laughs> okay we're dominating now that's good okay Oh, this is kind of terrifying. Okay, what do we got? Dominating on that one. Okay, that's good. And then, Greg, do you stand a ch Oh, you do. Okay. That number three that I need? Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad, though, because I've got some good moves set up. Okay, so the only one... Oh. Well, hang on a minute, then. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'd rather use that on this because I want to get his hit. Oh god! Oh! Oh, we don't even know how much HP he's got! God damn! I'm scared. I don't like the fact we don't know how much HP he has. That's a bit scary. Oh god, that barely made a dent. Okay. 
Capital of the counter. It's a good point. Okay, well the counter absolutely slaps Rip Hong Lu. I think he's still alive. I don't mind if he attacks Sinclair. Get me that negative SP. 90% damage counter. Oh my god, and two fuck me. Okay, yeah, this is what I mean. This is where we're gonna get absolutely slapped. Oh Arish really good for this chat. <laughs> okay, so gain two test the big brother, gain five, fine. Okay, oh my god, look how little of this HP we got. Jesus. Okay, so basically we oh Okay, that's fine though. Okay, so I can clash with these two, that's fine. And Okay, let me read this. Right, so, come here. Where are you? Get, test the big brother, so turn end. Reduce value by one. When this is active, take double damage from skills. Double amount of stagger threshold retreat raised from tremor burst. This unit is staggered. If the unit is staggered when the damage up, gain. Right. Holy shit, okay. Good look. Yeah. <laughs> you can only count it once per turn. That's what counted for every attack. Uh, well, he counted three times, so it must have been when you're clashing, maybe he can. Yeah, need some healing ego. Yeah, I mean, what we do have is I can do at least a bit of protection, which probably isn't the worst. Thing I've got at the moment, or I can imply, or I could apply a haste. I might go for this and just give myself a little bit of of defense as much as I can. But yeah, I do not have any healing ego, but let's try and clash these two out anyway. Um, okay, so who? What have we got here? Okay, I just don't think I'm going to attack in this turn then, because I think that's a cat. Yeah, that's a counter, right? So I don't want to attack him. I think. That's struggling. Dominating, okay. Yeah, and then that's just like unopposed. But I don't wanna use it, I'd rather just use it as a... But we don't wanna use it as that, I just wanna use it as... As a move, right. Um... It's evade, yeah. Are you bought Capote instead of Pursuance? Yikes. Oh no, I just I just had Capote. I don't have Pursuance, yeah, I didn't get it. It's what it is. But yeah, I don't actually have Capote yet. It's fine, because my two staggered shouldn't take any more damage for this time. Okay, so yeah, we've got at least we've got deal 20% more damage with sloth skills. Okay, right. So, okay, these the two the two brothers are nearly dead though, so that's good. Yeah. So does it say about payback? Does it say? So how do you avoid that then? Is what I'm wondering because I'm not seeing how to avoid payback. Do you can you? This sounds really stupid. Can you clash that? No. So you can't clash payback. How do you avoid it or do you just have to take the hits? Oh, new? Wait, what's new in there? <laughs> Wait, what's new in here? Oh, uh, it's so, uh, you just don't? That's not the move, right? Kicking. Oh my God, okay, right. You can't avoid payback, but you just don't. Okay, but you basically just have to get him in stagger. You bring ID's resistant to blunt, to 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 blunt. Okay, Mer Mersol can tank it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Mersol will be okay. It's my other two. It's these two that I'm worried about. But 
Okay. All right. Let's let's see what we're gonna do this time. So we have Rhino Ram, hopeless, dominating. Okay. So at least he can handle the back too. Losing SP isn't the worst thing for you, so we're gonna go for that. You're on four, so I need more anyway. I don't like that they're all hopeless. That's kind of terrible. I don't know what really want to do with that. If only you'd mutilate, that would be nice. They're all on hopeless. Oh, the only one that isn't is Mersol. God damn. But it's just like, is it? Mm. Let it hit Sinclair. Paralyze is good for him. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with the hitting Sinclair. Hmm. <laughs> if it's hopeless, you just don't clash. Yeah, it's just like, is it worth just getting hit with it? To be fair, like, is that just better? All right, I'll let them two go. So at least that's two of the moves that are better. What I might do is... What has your ego got? See, I just don't think he can take the hit. Really? Saving you for Limbus too. Try to stagger him this turn. He moves last. I know it's just, it's just, give yeah, it to be fair. Where's his stagger bar gone? I feel like I'm missing something. But his stagger bar went. Is this somewhere else I can hit him? Is it only body? Because he had like stagger bars, but they went away. <laughs> Counter only act activates once. He's at one speed before your attacks go. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. The best thing to do is just not... Oh, wait a minute. I could just do that. Wait a second. I could actually. Maybe we... I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if... Okay, wait. He might stagger us though. We're so fucked. But... But then he'll... Okay, wait. There you go. Don't know if we're gonna do enough damage to stagger him. I don't think we are. Oh, no, we're not gonna do enough damage to stagger him. Fuck. Okay. Oh. They saw this Ricardo, it's abnormally nonsense. Where are you? Where? What's he doing now? Oh God, what are you doing now? Why are you glowing? I don't know why he's glowing, but I don't like it. Oh, just do, I don't, oh God. I don't know why he's glowing. Okay, we're nearly a stagger though. Okay. Oh yeah, so you save damage for the test turn, right? Okay, that makes sense though. At least now I know. But yeah, okay, well, there's, okay, there's no point doing that. We're not bringing, really, like, Lantern can get out of here right now. I'm just wondering if... That should work, right? See, they're both just defending. So I can just leave them. Wait a minute. Shank's a good move. Okay. I want to apply haste. Actually, wait a minute. This is not a bad one to do either. Okay, let's try it, won't it? Yum, yum, yum. It'll evade some, but it might not evade everyone. I might be able to stagger him. Charging a powerful attack. 
That really so happens when she fails to stagger. Yeah, which is probably what's about to happen. Actually, we might have staggered him. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Oh my fucking god, he staggered. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, that was a good time to have staggered him. <sighs> right. Okay. Right. Okay. Question. Is it worth getting rid of the two at the front? Do, do we just get rid? It's not Jovi yet. No, it's not. No. No, it's not at all. Right. Question. Is it? Is it worth... Good timing on the stagger. I knew it's winnable. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not necessarily winnable because we're not still like look at Mersol. He's not doing good at all. 3k health? Stop it. Oh god. Okay, lay into him. Yeah, but the question is I've still got these two at the front. I mean No, just keep beating him. Okay, so just ignore him. Fine, 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 fine. Right. Good news is you've got that, so let's do this. Right, I need my strongest moves. Heal by 50% of the damage dealt. That's actually probably not bad for you. Throat slit. Oh, mutilate is a is. Oh, actually, mutilate can be really mixed bag. Wait a minute. What else? Wait. What else have you got? Inflict rupture. Inflict gluttony. Inflict bind. Oh, I haven't used this one yet. I haven't built it either. Just ignore the goons. They boost him when killed. Oh, I see. Okay. Let 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 him hit Sinclair and then so he's calling to roll zero. You need to get him to half health. Okay. Use them, he goes. <laughs> okay. What else have we got? Ice one wrath, inflict three burn, inflict six bind next turn. Actually, yeah, that's good. Fuck you, you can take that. <laughs> I don't know whether or not to, I might not use that. I might, we might just go on a bit of an ego spam. <laughs> just, just all, all the, all the egos. Oh wait, not that one, excuse me. Ego spam. Woo! We can't use Sinclair's annoyingly, but that's fine. Sinclair will still do a good amount of damage. Myrtle also has one with bind on, which is nice. This could go one of two ways. <laughs> and then I think Greg's just gonna do this, because that should heal. Yeah, we got a lot of ego! We can heal and don't switch, which might be able to nuke him down with ego spam. Letting him hit Sin is such a bad idea, bro, we'll get one shot. Land of Illusion is better. What, for him? Okay, wait. Land of Illusion is pretty good. Oh, and I guess yeah, it, will, it will get him to 45 SP. The SP is gonna hurt next turn. <sighs> Let's just see. Let's just pray we can get him to the second, the second one. I mean, he's nearly at the second stagger. But this is going to be a lot of bind on him. Okay, worst comes to worst. I think this is doable. I just think I needed to have done this first round. So I think I left this a bit late, which is a shame. I don't think I've, I don't think I've used this well Yo before. But yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he just broke out of her thing! Holy shit! Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, thank fuck! I thought it came with defeat. I was like, <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> we did it! Yeah, first try. Oh man, just slap the idea out of her. <laughs> oh my god, we were losing. You're losing. Yes, we did it. Oh, first try. <sighs> hey guys, this is what happens when you read. <laughs> you legit avoid the impossible to recover phase from the fight. Thank God. Oh, gee, I'm happy for you. Thank you. We're alive somehow. Oh, man. Yes. Hair coupon is strong, truly. Scope to defeat. Okay, great. But you basically have to get them over half health. Wow. Mission failed successfully. 
Oh, that would have been such a bullshit. It was a lot. Yeah, if you actually lost at that point and it's like, oh, you have to go from half HP to end. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, it's a scripted fight. Okay. You stagger it right around the time. He almost used mass attack, though. I think we got really lucky about that as well. That was really, really lucky. She's not a nice player. She reads. Hey, I do read a little bit. Damn. <laughs> We lost more than the battle, yeah. Don't change the fact the team got clapped. Hey, but considering that was my first try and we still did it successfully, to me that's a win. To me that is a win. It just, it took me a minute, but we got there. Can my clock even make a difference against someone who's so overwhelmingly powerful? My legs begin to shake, strategy, resurrections, it all seems completely meaningless against this onslaught. Faust's voice calling my name has never sounded more hollow. Speak, Faust. Oh, great! Yeah, put it all on me, sure! Great, awesome! He, he can't even understand me! How am I supposed to come with a plan? Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Gee, how was the fight? Was it fun? That was stressful. That was stressful. Wait, or oh, sooner or later that man from the middle- Wait, 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 and sooner, uh, and sooner or later that man from the middle will come for you? Wait, what? Someone from the middle wants- wants Dante? I love how I'm saying me, but obviously we mean Dante. They're best AK players. We know most of the alphabet. True. What? Oh, because of this? Great. Oh shit. Get emotional. Video game logic. <laughs> right. Oh, that's what she. Sorry, she means that basically because we've had this encounter, no matter what, the middle is gonna. Right, 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 right. Sorry. I was confused. I was like, I thought she was saying, and like, you need to figure out how to deal with the middle now because. Yeah, maybe it's the guy. Yeah, no, no, sorry. I didn't mean that. I meant like, I thought she was saying that like, you need to be able to deal with the middle because someone wants you. And I was like, what? But no, that's not what she meant. <laughs> There's a button? Oh, I see. Tap it? Hold it? All because Heath sold some salon coupons. Heath. I'd grown accustomed to total annihilation. We've had plenty on our journey here. Oh, don't you this one of Gregor? Oh. Oh, this was at the beginning of the game. Yeah. The sinners always gave their lives to learn our enemies' weaknesses or patterns, while I worked out a strategy from the rear, and the answer would always be somewhere within our reach. Slowly but surely, we'd figure out the answer, and for that promise of an answer, the sinners rose again. He feels legit just ended the game. This is what happens when him and Ish don't get along. It's what bloody happens, in it? Pop it! <laughs> Twist it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this time was... What? Is it what? I'm sorry. I can explode. To give you a power level skin, the LCB team is currently around a high urban plague to lower nightmare in terms of power. Right. Oh, hi, Levan. By the way, how are you doing? Self-destruct button. Oh my god. It's basically how all the sinners don't hate you for life. Daddy must play tap it in the middle. Well, this game was fun. Yeah, it's actually this is the end of the Gacha series, yeah. Right. Great! Great! Oh so Dante literally has a way of destroying the golden bows inside. Dude, they... Oh, Dante, no. Oh, oh no. Why have they put that in, in them? What about Virgilis? He said he'd come help me before my head. No, this is the... Oh, come on. Vigilus. Oh, Vigilus, no. We had a good run, boys. 
Well, surely, though, this is what Rim wanted, because Rim almost delayed us, like, because obviously we, we were trying to find the golden bow. Was Rim trying to get us out of here sooner, or was Rim trying to delay us to be outside at this moment for when they arrived? So we must be here for a reason. Pound of to even melt the stars of the city, yeah. You're kind of to lead after 5.30. Right, got it, yeah. Yeah, got it, got it. What about the sinners? When I'm gone, you guys are... Um, you ain't killing off these characters, what the fuck? I was not prepared for this! I, I keep running away, I'll take the boat and try and stay alive as long as the Lords of the Lakes let us for us across the borders of Dante! The room wanted to help us, yeah. Mm. Try to get us out by sooner by guiding us out, right. Right. This was the second time after Siegfried. The overwhelming sense of dread, so overwhelming it breaks even our fighting spirits. The incident with Siegfried was humiliating, but he wasn't there to obliterate us. He was just there to teach us a lesson. But this man, he's not going to stop until he's completely broken every sinner's will. Until he's satisfied, until the humiliation of the middle face is recuperated. He will kill. Oh. <laughs> のんぴちんちゅっきどんこ計測いらされごあるんこん。一旦ごって。でもね。やくしちゃっかちゃっか取らがめんしちゃがてさらなのこん。世界ちゃんちょわじゃんね。けんでちゃらんげすりとしえい
of Speed Biggest Losses because of a hair coupon. Uh, I will be just two minutes, guys. I just need to go and grab something. Um, so I'll just leave you here with this, but I will be right back. Hello, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, I just heard my door knocking. I was like, oh, my friend said she might pop me around and just bring me something. So, sorted, right, okay, sorry, right, we are ready, let's continue. Um, don't know if George noticed, but the battle music against mermaids has whales hands. Oh, we did, yes, someone pointed it out and I did notice it after I listened to it again. So, yes, it's cool though, I like it. The finale of our journey with Dante truly is. The middle and the twin hook pirates also have to follow the laws, so yeah. It seems like, seems like Vigilus has, yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, until he gets tired of this little game, let's continue. Until he simply walks over and crushes my clock. Could Vigilus piece my shattered clock back? Is that even possible? I wonder what would happen if this guy did kill Dante. Like, wh I wonder what would happen. Georgie jump scare. Whoa! <laughs> if I did as Faust told me to and blew up my head, not even a shred of me would be. Oh, shit. Main event. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's quick. Dante, Dante, Tio, what the kitten don't tell. Oh, my God, please, I don't want to cry. Is a young attack, you could do a little bit of a medal. I don't want to cry. This is awful. Ricardo, more like Ricard. No, the Jill will wipe the middle. I, oh, my God, please. Should I press the button? Is that really going to be my last ever thought? There was a distant sound like an answer to my question. That solemn sound told clearly through the blinding fog. Oh. It was a skiff. One much smaller, much more modest than ours. Oh! Oh, what, oh, what is happening? From beyond the misty veil, the skiff slowly glided across the water in our direction. On it was a solitary figure holding an oar. A giant harpoon was attached to the bow of the ship. What? Who is this? The big brother of the middle. Who could probably break that puny skiff in half with his bare hands? Stares at it in stunned silence. It became clear that the, that skiff didn't float here by accident. When the figure on the boat be began gently rowing in our direction, through the mist, we saw something flash atop the skiff. The figure hurled something in our general direction. It flew so fast that no human eye could catch it. I didn't even have the time to register what something was being thrown before I noticed that something was piercing the big brother's left, left shoulder. <laughs> then, a powerful shockwave far mightier than anything the pirates had fired earlier struck us. The air itself quaked. It was not a distance that most people would even think about jumping across, but the figure leaped over from the skiff to the lobotomy court branch gracefully with agility. Oh my God, who the fuck is this? Oh my God, they, oh my God. The man from the middle who had so far appeared unassailable stumbled and fell to his knees. His shoulder was skewered. Oh, oh my God, this is dope. This is so dope, holy shit, are you kidding me? 
that's when I finally saw the figure thrown. It was a harpoon. Oh, I thought it looked a bit like, like, Carol, like the boat, the ferryman as well. And I was like, what? A harpoon too immense to be thrown by a mere person, let alone at such a blinding speed. The hooded figure's arm was wreathed in a familiar light. <laughs> Young gum tingy. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a color fixer. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's another color fixer. We get, I'm getting another color fixer. Oh my god, we've only had red. Oh my god, is this, is this person... Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Finally. I was, oh my fucking god. Oh my god, oh my 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 god. Oh my god, is he after the pallid whale? He used to be to be called a harpoon. Told you, colour fixer. Guess the colour. I mean, is it by any chance blue? Which is weird, because we've had something related to blue previously. I love your action, Jordi. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for another color fix. And this new kill one of the five calamities. Oh, is this what, what Vigilus was on? Oh my god. The old man tugs the harpoon lodged in Big Brother's shoulder. <clears throat> oh, exactly my first reaction. <laughs> Witnessing another color fixer. The Big Brother tried to hold his ground against the harpoon's pull until there was a crunch. <laughs> Oh, the harpoon tore off his entire shoulder with it. Ah! It was a force that would have turned most people into tattered so meat. Oh, this dude is so cool. Uh, oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Ishmael and I had no choice but to watch in silent awe as the old man approached us. The harpoon was still in his hand and he wished to strike us with it. We could never hope to get out of his way. So he is, he is hunting the, the pallid whale. Oh. oh my god, please show us your face. I need to see. That harpoon won't roll nat, nat 30. Yeah, it truly did. Nat 20. What if I think it's season game sprite? Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Blue embers flickered from the old man's cigar. We didn't need to anyone to tell us that he was overwhelmingly powerful. We knew instinctively. Faust, who seemed to recognize the old man, led him to Vigilus after a quick exchange of pleasantries. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see how they interact. あいめくんパウスタシ。たるん素感じゃどあにん당신に。いろけんの穿国까지。こむるもしわするじゅりや。もちっとさらわんのんでたったたの花火かじなんばれど。おけれ。損ぼるしあんじょうのぶんうい。
Yeah. Fear the old man and the profession where people die young. It's making me think of like um uh in like Chainsaw Man where like one of the the officers in that is like older than everyone else and it's because he's so powerful he's like survived this whole time when like everyone around him like dies. It's so cool. Don is gonna die from excitement. Same. <laughs> Fear old man yeah. You think the color fixers have uh, like rainbow gatherings? I don't know. Maybe. I've got no idea. She's just like you for real. <laughs> oh, this dude just exudes cool. Oh, mate. Oh, I love it. The old man grunted. It was neither a confirmation nor denial, but it was just the way the old man was. Everyone understand that. This is, oh, he's just he's just effortlessly cool. Holy crap. <laughs> Kashibe, yeah. Kashi oh, I love Kashibe. Yeah. Like, my favorite character from Chains of Man. I love them. They're so cool. Elevation's an old man with a cigar, truly peak character design. Yeah. You don't get tons of old, badass characters. You know, the only way to improve it if it was like an older woman with a cigar. That would be sick. I bet they hate each other, to be honest. I don't know, because I don't know a lot about the the different colors and the dynamics between them, and I don't know how many there are, and I don't know a lot, because this is my first time ever seeing a color fixer that isn't red, because we've seen the two that are red, and that's all I've seen. So, oh, no worries, Gold, I'll catch you later. Man, somebody of the gathering. <laughs> Let's see someone get old, yeah. I'm so excited right now. I'm so happy. This is why I'm really excited to read Vigilis's story because I want to know more about Vigilis as well. Kuriru I hope some I hope we get I hope we honestly get an idea. I hope it's gets an idea of him someday. Yes. Literally, I hope so. I think Don mentioned a green colour near the beginning. Oh. The crowd first silent when Ishmael finished explaining her plan. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I think I've heard of that before. Oh, Siegfried isn't a fixer, though. Siegfried isn't a color fixer, right? I know, I know him and Vigilis know each other, but yeah, I thought Siegfried wasn't a fixer. He's like a superhero, is what I look at Siegfried, but he's not a fixer, right? Oh wait, he is? Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't think he was. Oh, okay. Oh, we have seen another one then. No, only a grade one. I didn't think he was a. He's a fixer, but not a color. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Sorry. What I meant is, I didn't think he was a color fixer. Sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's grade one. Yeah. Oh, he declined the color. Right. Sorry. Yeah. I did mean he was like a fixer, but like he's not a color. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant he's like not a color fixer. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he's grade one. Yeah. Because yeah, he like he acts like a little superhero. <laughs> I just see him as that. Yeah, wing associated. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. But yeah, I didn't think he was. I didn't think he was like one of these guys. Yeah. <sighs> Just below a color. I mean, he's probably yeah. He was. Oh, he was. What he was previously? I'm not sure. I want to meet some of the other fixers as well. Oh, I see. Unknown gravy con considered he turned it down. Right. Got it. What designates someone as a colour anyways? They mentioned didn't they mention this a little bit? They didn't go too much into it, but they did mention it a little bit, right? 
about how they how they designate it, I think. The Indigo Elder suddenly broke his silence with a question. Oh, oh, that's so cool. That's the first one you want to call Vigilus like red. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so he's got something else going, right. That's it, Hannah Association, yeah. This feels like such a serious meeting. Like, I have chills. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, it's in, yeah, the Hannah Association, yeah. The old man rose from his seat and walked off as though he was about to leave. We absolutely are not. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm just going outside to get ready. <laughs> Sharon, I assume. Yeah, more important things like protecting them. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Changbekan Kurir Jaburibu. Yodan and Pimil Jiran Peron and Shindilkoshi. Screaming? I didn't think Mephistopheles was that loud. It's got to look after Sharon, yeah. Pixar has achieved some great feat that exalts them from the regular grade. You can designate as different shades of color if colors are taken. Kurume, <laughs> Nakshipe? <laughs> As pallid, not white, yeah. Instead of entertaining that bombardment of questions, he approached me. Oh. Oh. It will not work against the whale. Wait, have they said, have we, have, have we had that theorized as before that, that Dante is a singularity? I feel like people in the chat have maybe mentioned that Dante could be before. Why? Why did you accept even after Vigilus opted out? It was a question I've been unable to let go. Oh, no, I missed the reaction to Ricardo. Oh, random, Goopy. You'll have to go back and watch it. You'll have to go back and watch it. We did something insane. We did something crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I think it was kind of impressive, sort of. Dante themselves there as a head of singularity. Oh, maybe that was it. Oh, okay. I always assumed Dante's cult was an ego. I didn't think it was an ego. I thought it was more like a, um, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Like, it had been, like, placed there. Probably a person with a marked potential got clock singularity on his head. Yeah, I definitely think that whoever Dante was, they definitely had mark potential, yeah. Or potentially a mark. We don't know. Because obviously Dante lost their memory, so singularity is a loose concept. It's easy to just paint anything you don't understand as one, right? Similar to a singularity, I don't think it'd be officially considered one because it's not associated with a wing. Well, unless it is associated with a wing, but we don't know that yet, right? He would have been accepted because Virgil would never accept it. Uh, or with fair. The head is a prosthetic. Yeah, that's, I just presumed that. But he's guessing, right? <laughs> Oh, 
거절할 수 그가 내가 전부시 어... 아닌 테니까. 그게 무슨 말이야? 이해가 되지 않소. 한계에 부딪힐 수 없다. No worries, the lawyer. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Might try to become a wing. Yeah. How tattoos in the middle of singularity? It's my wing. Right. Oh, okay. Is an ego which is sort? Oh, okay. Hmm. 한계? 지금 무슨 말을 하는 거예요? Yeah, Gupi. We found that quite quick. <laughs> He's so cool. He really is awesome. Oh. The Indigo Elder. That's such a dope name. Even with the ego, he probably can't meet the best attack. No, but what we did was, as he was, it was like he was left, he was doing the thing to buff up for the mass attack. We, ma I managed to stagger him just before he did that attack. So I managed to d delay it, and then we just absolutely wailed on him, and then managed to get him down to half health, and it worked. So, but now I know how to do it properly, but yeah, we, uh, yeah. So I did it first time. Super proud of myself. But yeah, we managed to stop that, which was good. Very good timing. Yeah, again, the mention of stars, yeah. Challenge that understanding beyond the stars that lie beyond the edge of understanding, beyond even the concept of fear itself. Huh. I had predicted that one of our sinners would become a color fixer identity. See, I, I can kind of see, for example, like, that happening with Ryoshu, because Ryoshu is theorized to be one of the strongest, right? But, and she is associated with the, isn't, doesn't she have some kind of association with the middle somehow? But I wonder if, obviously she joined Limbus Corp and lost power by doing so, but I wonder if Ryoshu actually has that capability. Just to me, Ryoshu seems like what, the most powerful, and it seems like the one where if she became a fixer, I wouldn't be surprised. Or like a colour fixer, I wouldn't be too shocked. Just with how powerful she could be, but I don't know. Wailed on him. <laughs> but yeah, I like the prediction though. Project Moon give you some um being groomed into colour. Oh, that's a cool theory. It's our summon calamities. 중요한 갈피에 놓이게 되었을 때 자신의 목숨은 전혀 아깝지 않다는 생각이 들게 된다면. Hmm. She's a member of the finger. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, the the ring finger. Yeah. Basically, it's just just never use the sword, only the scabbard. 지금 했던 이야기를. He seemed pretty good with advice to me. 그럼에도 몇 마디 던져 놓는 것은 같은 노를 저어가는 사람에 대한 동질감이라고 해두지. As per the old man's directions, we rode on the skiff prepared on Mephistopheles. I saw Ishmael moments before boarding the skiff on Mephistopheles. This was Ishmael's plan, but I had no way of knowing what she was really thinking. I had an inkling, yes, and so far I've been going along with those vague guesses. Vague guesses that lead to disasters. So I had to ask her myself, Ishmael, what do you really want? Nigga. Oh! I see another vision of Ishmael. Oh! Uh, uh, is this, is this, um... Theorize Ahab, maybe? I don't know. She just she just got uh, oh um okay. I don't know. She was hiding it well from the others, sinners and vigilas, but I could see what she really wanted, her true desire. It smell like you She was lifting a body from the waters, a body that was torn asunder, shattered bones, strips of muscle tissue, flesh. Ishmael trembled with elation before it looked like yeah, the captain's be yep, yep, the cat yep, yep, there we go. Yep. Dante's developed mind reading. Yeah, but maybe this is part of the the Mark's power. Because if the Mark's could, the Mark has different powers, this would technically be the ability to see people's wishes and desires and what could happen in the future. So maybe this is all part of my. This could be part of my theory with how the Mark's work. 
and not necessarily part of the singularity. <laughs> Just a theory, but. She desires goods. Yeah, so like this could be the butterfly effect of like, if Ishmael gets what she wants, this is what will happen to Ishmael. And it's all part of that butterfly effect. If Dante can change what's happening, then it can change the butterfly effect. But just the theory. Dante can do this because of the bows, apparently. Oh, is it a bow thing? Okay. Just the theory. I think it's bow magic. Fair. Still could link into the butterfly thing, though, as well. The Rose Shoe is not the Rose's strongest in the LCB team. She is. She managed to detect a she association assassin before he, before he struck. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe I wait over level violence. Because I happened with Sinclair earlier. Hmm. Doing resonance in the golden bow. Fair, fair enough. More the golden twigs, right? I think it's like the bow thing that happened with Gregor. Are you saying Yisake is real? <laughs> uh, right. Um, we rode towards the Grey Lake as previously discussed with the Indigo Elder. Oh yeah, what was the name of the previous one? The Indigo Elder. Oh, it's so cool. Um, we can see some rocks poking out of the pale opaque waters of the lake. It looks like we'll have to maneuver our way between them. Clear within ten turns. Okay. Okay, I love how the difficulty's gone back down. <laughs> Those just a sinner thing, so it's all linked to Dante so closely. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna hit hard. He just wants to undo the Mad Captain who and did them to kill the Captain in revenge for the damage they've done. As discussed earlier, we took a different route from the Indigo Elder when we, we were the first to arrive at separate destinations for our plan. Something's floating over there. Not too long after we crossed the line where the lake water turned dark grey, we noticed something pale peeking out from the lake. Mm, Oh, they look really weird. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. i so quick through the canto, based on what I've seen, how do you top this? There's so much awesome stuff here, like the scale alone is awesome. Hello the world, how are you doing? I hope you're enjoying it so far. The I would agree, because to be fair, I think lore-wise, this has given us some of the biggest lore we've had in regards to like the actual city itself and how things work and it's given us like so many new characters that are going to tie into future things um canto 4 did do the same but i think canto form was more about the history that led up to this point and how things are the way they are whereas this is giving us like hints as to the future of stuff which is really exciting and characters that are gonna appear in more you know hmm. <laughs> Yetigun, <laughs> 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 Huh, so that's why. That's why I could feel the golden boats here, even if it's been so even when it was so far away. I raised my finger and pointed towards the general direction of this vague feeling. Ishmael wordlessly steered the ship towards Faust's words. We grew ever nearer to the island or a reef. A heavy silence descended upon the <gasps> sinners. Until Ishmael gasped with sudden realization. <laughs> oh. There was an incomprehensible look on Ishmael's face. Maybe I saw an unrestrained joy. The joy of finding something she'd been searching for for so long. Such an overwhelming, all-consuming happiness that her facial muscles began to twitch on their own. Maybe I saw extreme fear, the fear in the face of the destined and unavoidable horror. The lake splashing waves hit her trembling face and rolled down her cheeks, or maybe she was sweating from dread. Oh. She's gonna turn down the SFX a little bit, it's a little bit loud. 
Ah, why is it still so loud? <laughs> Motis, she. That's a little bit better. Tonum, whom he is so, Hock Shiraki Puijano. Kronika, Sigam Muripea, Oton got three milkena, arm to the Chiban, Cosen Heruka Huruquism, Baragi Pial Bumbo, Paki Anagon. Otis nodded emphatic uh, emphatically before rising from her seat to gaze at the path ahead. She balanced herself as the ship rocked. Huh. Okay, so cool. I wonder if this is where this happened. Ishmael began fiddling with the steering gear and the engine output levels as though something had clicked in her mind. How do you guys have so many modules? I drink them like a man abandoned in the desert for three days finding an oasis. Oh no. See, I've got some because, um, actually not. Yeah, hold them during season two. Which is fair. Hmm. Fucking every morning and evening to get 12 modules available per day. Oh, I see. Oh, you know, actually, no, I've not got a lot of modules. No, never mind. You're right. That's not a bad idea, actually. Just build them up. Hey, Curse Blue. Hello. Seems you have a lot. <laughs> How are you doing, Curse Blue? You have a nice day. Yeah. It's been a very stressful stream. It's been amazing, though. Good theory crafting today. Good eye. Ah, got you. What? Come on. Move it. You know, my idea is not good. This time, I'm going to hit the That's not a rock. Not get caught in the way of what it's Oh. We're in the cogi and Eric Oh, okay. So what are you? Just gently glide over, guys. I don't think those are rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the whole place just like a question. A loud shock and a splitting sound of the skiff scratching and sliding against something cut Heathcliff off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That ain't a rock! What we thought were islands suddenly rumbled, vibrating as ground tremors from an earthquake. Oh! Oh no. Oh, a wonderful day. Can I probably treat you the same so far? Also, don't trust anything in this lake. I do not trust a single thing in this lake. How have you found Kanto 5 so far, Curse Blue? A colossus creature should us as it wakes up from a long slumber. Who? Huh? The voice acting this chapter agreed, Final Fox. That absolutely agreed. Ooh. Pallid blue mermaid. Ooh, this looks cool. Inflate sinking. Okay, so it's got the same. Ooh, nasty. Okay, so palidification, crashing filth. Okay, same as previous. Okay. Cool, right, let's do it. Um, okay, so lose 10 SP. Uh, neutral. Let's do that one. Gain full charge, inflict some bleeding. Do a bit of evisceration. Let's not do that one. <laughs> let's not do that move. Parts of a singular whale. Ah, oh, oh god. Yeah, Rebel. This ain't gonna go well, is it? This ain't gonna be good. I'm scared. <laughs> How one or two? Okay. Yeah, that's a good one to do. Gain three trauma, gain two charge. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, well, yeah. After this comes peak. Oh, we're approaching peak. Oh, you, we're approaching peak. There's so much in this chapter that has already been peak that I don't think there's any more peak we could possibly have. Nobody's on a hot. <laughs> Is there a monster? <laughs> Joke. Now you need to have the mermaids look all scary. They did use for humans though. Oh, the music. The 535 is peak voice acting. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. My little my little heart is excited. It's already been so peak this whole chapter. So like, if it gets more peak, I'm so here for it. 
Yeah, you can struggle. There you go. I see you have Molo as for a bonus turn. Oh! I see you have Bloomsang. He carried me through the entire camp. No, Bloomsang has carried me through the entire game. I think Bloomsang was one of the first IDs I actually got in my first stream. And I don't think I've removed him from the team. Like, Bloom Sang has been the best ID I could have gotten. So good. Do you not underestimate Project Moon G? Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I won't. I have all the faith in Project Moon. I'm scared though. Because we're still going to wait till next week. <laughs> and it won't be till next Saturday that I can play it as well. <laughs> oh, wait, that was rude. Oh, we got one staggered. Cool. What are you on? You're on four. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Warp Yi Sang is very good too, though. I've heard some of the other Yi Sang's good, but this one I just I know how to use. You know. It's all sweep so far, but that'll probably change with the jump strip. Yeah, that's the thing, dude, is this is why I'm not going to fully judge which one is better. Because I will say they all feel so different compared to each other. But four and five so far have absolutely taken the cake. I mean, three was also very good. Three was brilliant. Um, but four was absolutely phenomenal. But five has been so good so far. Like, I don't think I can pick which one is the best. Mm. Nice, yes. Hell yeah. Love that. Looks like Goofy while staggered. I was gonna say, that one looks ginormous. Okay, let's just do damage. Last turn. I you, you sound more easy to use. <laughs> Going to retire, I think? I hope so. Yeah, George's first series of ID was spice, yeah. Oh my god, this is... Oh, oh I'm excited though. Get to see part of the, the captain's design. Okay. The pallid whale. What we thought was to be a rock was poor. Was a porous whale. When its mermaids crawled out of the holes, we defeated them. But this isn't the whale we're looking for, is it? What is Ishmael thinking? I could tell from the look of Heathcliff's face that I wasn't the only one wondering about this. Finally, give me some interaction between Ishmael and Heathcliff. I've been waiting for this since 4.5. I need some interaction. I need some resolution here. I need some character growth and growth between them so that we... So, oh. <laughs> I need I need it. I need it. Oh, Regret Faust is also really good. I have heard. Have heard peeking come in. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Right, here we go. Oh, we've got some neutrals. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, no. Can we can we not do this, please, guys? Excuse me? How are you doing? On the post. Oh, yeah, let's, let's save Ryan Ram. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Better now. Yeah. Not amazing, not great. Oh, wait, too soon peak yet. Yeah. Dante, if I promise Dante, daily reset Dante. <laughs> yeah, that one's way bigger than the other ones. Just realize that. Paladin Blue Mermaid. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Dominating, yep. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, let's dodge. Dodge, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. This entire chapter is big. It's so good. It's so good. Like, the first half of this canto was really... Like, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. And then the second half of this canto is just absolutely fucking knocked out. It's been amazing. So good. I've been, like, on the edge of my seat the whole time. But I love the fact that all the cantos have felt so different from each other. Like, oh, it's so good. This chapter of the dynamic is a hollow shape where the dynamic should be, and it's a heavy that's gap. How, how much they banned in the previous chapter? And what? Yeah, that's what I love about it, though. Is that like that's what it's like at the moment. So this is why I'm hoping that there'll be a slight shift in the dynamic. Not necessarily romantic, but like there'll hopefully be a shift in the dynamic to put them into a slightly different place when it gets to Canto Please Six. So I'm, I'm I'm intrigued to see how it's gonna change. You also, we've got a dungeon as well. Peek is going to be a throw. Loki the large. Oh, I recently watched the Loki TV show. It's actually meant. You don't have a choice. Great. Show a new color fixer. Oh, I mean, it was absolutely the right choice. I'm so happy that they showed us a color fixer. That was just dope. Like, I'm so, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm just like, oh my god. And for the dynamic? Yeah. 
I thought it was weird because it just it put us in a really interesting place for the beginning of this canto. Nice. The idea has really grown on me. Hit mill shields are really wild Just that that 4.5, the fight between them. Oh my god, it was so good though. Like it was so well voice acted. I went back and watched that again. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited, Velva. Like, oh my god. Music book again? Oh, can you not hear it? Oh never mind. I was gonna say I was, yeah, I was gonna say I can hear it, yeah. Heath is devoted to Kathy already. Oh no, absolutely. But I think that. Obviously, we don't know how they're going to do it in this. And this is what I mean. I'm not necessarily saying that between Heathcliff and Ishmael is going to be romantic. But also, I think that character growth is really important. And, and obviously, in Wuthering Heights, what hap I'm not going to say what happens to that. But what happens in that is very different to what's going to happen in this. So all the part of character growth and for a lot of the characters, part of their canto has been about them, especially like Yi Sang's, accepting what happened and finding a way to move forward. And obviously if the stuff with Kathy isn't, isn't a good thing, then hopefully Heathcliff can find some way to accept what happened and maybe his journey for vengeance will change into something else. But I just really like the dynamic between the two of them, you know? And it'd be nice to see that develop into them into that more of like a family dynamic. <laughs> Love Ishmael's VA, doing mention amazing. <laughs> Finally, the romance story always <laughs> works normally <laughs> in PM games. Always. Fine guys, wasn't guys maybe hype for Heath Scanto. Let's go with the yeah. Indira. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Like I said, it's not even like, oh, I want Heath Cliff and Ish to get together. Not that I don't ship it because I do think it's cute, but I'm just excited to see how Heath's character is going to grow from that sure. point. And obviously <sighs> Heath and Ish's dynamic is really good, so it's going to be toxic AF. Oh, it's going to be so toxic. I just, I don't want to see Heath all sad, you know? <laughs> I don't want to see, I just don't want to see Heath being sad, and that's all we're going to get <laughs> in Heath's canon. It's going to be awful. Uh, Heath's obsessive if they didn't change his story. Yeah, but I think, I think though that I don't think they quite will have made him quite as obsessive as that because Heath seems like a very angry character that wants vengeance, not an obsessed character. There is a difference between obsession and vengeance. Like, I think that he might be obsessed with vengeance, but I wouldn't necessarily say that he is like only focused on Kathy. I think it's slightly different the way they've done it, but we'll see. We're not going to know, you know? Anyways, let's let's continue. Kathy's definitely the I can make it worse like <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Ishmael is an example of obsessed. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. Heath the Furious wasn't the only sinner looking at Ishmael with expectant eyes. There were Otis and the other sinners who all looked at her for some answers. Ishmael. And I was too, of course. <sighs> Well,我想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想
Who got chicken What? We'll find out during Kanto 6. I'm excited though. Yeah. 살다 살다 내가 이런 말을 꺼내게 될 줄은 진짜로 몰랐는데. 너 멍청하냐? I didn't think I'd ever say these words for my deathbed. Oh. Yeah. 고래를 깨우는 거랑 저 빽빽한 안개가 거친 거랑 대체 무슨 연관이 있냐? 피스클리프 씨가 인과관계를 가지고 논파하고 있는 장면은 정말 징그하군요. 왜야는 좀 닥쳐라. 나 진지하니까. Pretty sure there's a lot of funerals. That's true, yeah. 시간 안에 호수에서 벗어나지 못하면 파도가 밀려온다는 사실은 뭐 말이 되나요? 어? 정해진 공간에 도달하기 위해 직선 항해를 하지 못하고 왔던 항로로 바로 되돌아가지도 못한 채 여기저기를 돌아다녀야만 하는 건 말이 되고요? She's supposed to be a cartoon hero. Oh, I want him to be alive as well, yeah. Oh, I want him to think that she's dead, but actually she turns out to be alive. I kind of want something like that. Because I think that would that would be even worse if like Kathy actually had hidden like he thought she was dead and that's why he was trying to get revenge and then actually it turns out she's alive like oh my god it's gonna be painful either way me help me too it's gonna be pain I'm so excited why did Ishmael hit the whale is she stupid apparently so. 여기는 그렇게 돌아가는 곳이에요 그냥 그런 거라고요. Okay, you'll be disturbed yeah. No, I, I agree, Levant. I think I agree with you as well. I think he's someone that's like, wants vengeance for maybe someone killing Kathy or something like that, and then she'll actually chance to be alive. That's what I think. Yeah, there's a reason she hit the whale, but... 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 ネガ직접겪고봤으니까 Heathcliff fell silent, scratching his head. The other sinners also nodded and began whispering. Kathy <laughs> 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 faked her death to marry Edgar without Heath knowing about it, causing Heath to distort when he finds out, yeah. Something like that, probably, yeah. I mean, he's also covered in scars, so like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 적어도 말다툼에서 이기겠다고 거짓말을 하거나 흰 소리를 늘어놓진 않는다는 건 알아. He doesn't like her. Ethan Heath Heath shippers Heath shippers in tears. Hey, look, they say they say there's a very close line between love and hate. You know. I was watching a ship that was put to sea. Oh, like maybe the legend is what like the Millie song will be or something. 어디에 끝까지 해봐. But he still trusts her. Like he, like he questioned it, but like he still got along with what she said. And he doesn't think that she's a liar. So I think Heathcliff likes to front that he doesn't like people, but I actually, but they're saying they don't like each other. It's almost confirmed shit with this relationship. Yeah, but he trusts her. Yeah, yeah, love hate ships. Yeah, of course. Like there's, there's always a fine line in that sense. Nado nattuketa, hajiman. Yeah, I'm actually rooting against the shippers. Dante and Ish. Dante and Ish! Fair enough. I'm rooting against I'm rooting against you. <laughs> I don't ship Dante with anyone currently. But I also think it's because we don't know who, who Dante is yet, so yeah. I have a I have a couple of people that I'm gonna like, yeah, I sort of I sort of like these moments and I sort of ship it, but I'm not gonna put that out. The only one of power there is is Heathcliff and, and Ish. Just I love the interactions between them. She's getting the coupon. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Well, let's go find our next whale. Well, 
Once we eliminated the mermaids of the last whale singled out by Ishmael, the fog slowly began to fade. Behind it was a different lake, beyond the grey sea. Dante is can we, fair, fair. Dante and Virgil because of the Oprah Falls. That's <laughs> that is fair. That was pretty cute. Oh shit! I think we're on the last one. Oh my gosh. Dante and Ota. No way. Oh my gosh. I think I think the one that I personally don't understand when people say they ship Ryoshu and Sinclair. Or like, or like Sinclair and Ois, they're the, like, that's that, I don't get that at all. <laughs> I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, no, he's not for me. No, we waited past, I mean, people can shit what they want to guess as long as, you know, it's all legal and stuff, but yeah, just pay attention to the background. Oh yeah, let's, let's look into this before we go. But yeah, it's, it's time. We waded past the ocean mist and entered the obsidian lake. The lake of legends is told by Ishmael within it was the pallid whale pale as midnight moon. Oh, there's the eye. Oh my god. And there's the rocks that we've gone past and the fog. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. But I'm oh god, there's this. Oh, its mouth's open. Oh, we're heading straight into its pie hole. Okay, great. I'm scared. <laughs> Rio and Sinclair cannot conceive be romantic. No. <laughs> no. No, that's fair, yeah. I would ship Greg and Rodia together to take care of Sinclair. See, same again. I like Rodia and Greg as a as a brother sister, and I can see why people ship it, but personally I don't. But I think it's also because I personally get like slight like queer vibes from Rodia, so I'd rather, like, if I was going to ship her with someone, I'd rather ship her with one of the other female characters. But that's just me. I don't know why. That is just me. But, you know, people are actually whatever they want, you know? Okay, that whale is bigger than the other ones. Yeah, that whale is freaking humongous. <laughs> it's massive. Okay, the VA work for this is insane. Okay, are we ready? I'm so ready. Okay. I feel whatever Rio I do. I'm scared. Yeah, Dungeon's going to be inside the whale calling. I think it must be. I think it must be. You're so right, considering what her idea of dancing is. Yeah. I just get that vibe from her. I don't know what it is. So, yeah. Wait, what am I right about? <laughs> Wait. I mean, of course. Listen, Rodian has two hands. Hey, I like to say that too. That is true. We could, we could be, we could, we could have a bisexual on our hands. Two of them. So let's go. Peak voice acting. I'm so excited. Married Sonia. Oh no, I did not get romantic vibes from them at all. Yeah, so brother sister trip of calling someone darling and babe. Hey, I call I call my friends that. That's fine. I mean, I yeah. But yeah, no, it's like yeah, but, yeah, but Rodi calls everyone that. She doesn't just call Greg that. She calls other people that too. So yeah, no, yeah. Um, I was wondering if you to break Hongli or Sinclair. <laughs> Rodi is like the cool lesbian aunt. I yeah. Sinclair and therapy fair. Sinclair and Damien, true. Rodian was male and Sonia was, oh, I see. Oh, I said it's more like a big family. No, I think that's probably what it is too. But yeah, Don and Mersol, I also don't understand that one personally, but each your own. But also I have some weird chips, so it's fine, you know. Like I have my own that people would be like, what? <laughs> You'd be like, why? And mine's just Greg times most of the characters. <laughs> Not all of them, but. I'm like, anyone interacts with Greg, and I'm like, that's really cute. I kind of want to ship it, you know? Heathcliff Mercer. and Mersol? Interesting. Interesting. I kind of like Greg and Mersol. I, I like the dynamic between them two. That's true, Shatar, but also Sinclair and Damien's mum was canon. So <laughs> bit weird. Fine, and it's fine, yeah. Yeah. She only calls Greg babe, to be fair. That's why she did names. Oh, fair enough, yeah. I'm not so big No, fair, fair. Gregnant? Who's Gregnant? Who's that? Don times a woman. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's right, let's let's go through this. <laughs> yeah, let's let's finish. Okay. Mersol was right. The lake beyond the borders was nigh pitch black. The waves crested tall, rising and crashing violently under the thundering rainstorm. <sighs> I also really like the dynamics between Yi Sang and Hong Lu at the end of the last canto, but yeah, let's 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 continue. Sorry, <laughs> let's just let's just continue. Anyways, yeah, sorry, my my brain. Right. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Gregor and wait, wait, what? Okay, fair. Mer and Heek little cop, fair, fair. Okay, I'm not gonna ask about Gregor. I don't want to know. 
Yi Sang's face was starting to go pale. Oh, bless him. Oh, don't be ill. I'm not asking. Ah, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. That's generic. <laughs> How is the big brother? Fa oh, Salim. Oh, we did really. Oh, I think we. I. I say. I think we did really well. But yeah, I'll let Chad tell you. But it was. It was tough. But it was. It was tough. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It 그러니까 이 앞부터는 진짜 모험입니다. 어디야? 그럼 모든 걸 정면으로 맞서야만 되겠군. 네, 파도가 오면 정면으로 부딪힐 겁니다. 그 고래가 나타나도요. 아직까지는 조용하네요. 그때는 호수에 진입한 지몇 분도 되지 않아서 그것이 부... Everyone was as tense as they could be, looking around nervously. Chokun, Monga, Monga Kiku, Lupunga in Mungo Katunde Kakai Takakapurum Gold Chananda, Mega Irona, Kwang on a Kakai Pichuketa. Mercer got up with the lantern and pointed the light over to where Sinclair indicated. Anina, Toki Bosom. Do you remember seeing anything like that, Ishmael? 네. 기억이 흐릿한 정도가 아니라 저런 건 아예 본 적이 없어. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 There's loads of them. Okay, what the? What? Ishmael Yang. 그대도 갑작스레 뱀멀미가 터지는 것이오. 반색이 무척 창백하오만. I knew that can't be true. A seasick sailor and existing jokes beside Ishma was doing just fine moments ago. Then she must have had a sudden realization. 그렇군. 이런 모습이었던 거였어. 일부만으로도. A terrifying realization. 어떤 건데 그래요? 알기 싫어도 알게 될 걸. 저건 헤일인가? 청원 잡을 수 있는 건 전부 꽉 잡고 있도록. Oh, they touch the clouds here. What are they? Oh. Before we even had the chance to say anything, a leviathan of a wave rose to its crest and then crashed onto us from above, and sucked us deep into the lake before throwing us back to the surface. Oh shit! They all got thrown off the boat. Oh, damn. Oh, the, the boat flew right there. Yeah, what was that? Everyone okay? Everyone was soaking wet, nearly hyperventilating, but mostly awestruck about what we just witnessed. It was just multiple whales connected by something deep in the water, like an umbilical cord? Oh, we have everyone, but... Oh, sorry, yeah. I want to see that again. What was it? What was it? Oh, their tails? Oh, my God. I really want to go back to this. I want to go back to this. Oh, God. This is... Oh no! Oh shit! We're finally here. I think that's what Ishmael whispered, but the storm, the waves buried a voice deep into the lake. Well, hopefully they've been here too, because... Oh, the... Flipping it! That's 
that's one way to wake everyone up. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We didn't have to wonder even for a second about what Don Quixote was screaming at. An entire herd of entities, each dwarfing every single whale with weather throughout this journey, emerged from the waters all at once. In unison, they began migrating in a singular direction. To witness something like that was enough to make even Mersol gape with plain bewilderment. I want that. I want that fan art. I want to see Mersol being like... <laughs> I need to see that. Oh my god. Our final stage begins now. Holy shit. Don't wait to all the whales. Yeah. <laughs> That's what just happened. God damn. Oh, 저기, 저기. Oh, Lord, oh, there was a oh, there was a whale that stood out even among the herd of in ineffably immense whales, pallid as a pale death. It's hide thick with scar tissue. Oh. <laughs> it's humongous. Oh my god, it's massive. <laughs> Oh, Ishmael thundered. Ishmael? No, louder than thunder itself, as though her personality itself has suddenly shifted. Her voice seemed to overwhelm the very storm itself. Oh my god. Oh, that was amazing. Holy shit, that was amazing. Even Oris was spent with this suddenly turn of events, repeating after Ishmael bellowing commands. Oh, this is so cool. This is what Ishmael was like when she sailed the lakes, or... <laughs> oh my god, she's... Oh shit. Or is this the captain? <laughs> the old man in his skiff was sliding across the waters towards the whale. Time to get. Oh, thank God. It wasn't, cl oh! it wasn't clear whether the thunder of the old man's bellow that awakened the pallid whale, its eye lift began to lift. Oh my God, its eyes are open. Why whale hold a grill? Holy shit. It was an eye of astronomical proportions, so immense that it no longer resembled an eye, but a reflected mirror of the world. Oh. The old man, harpoon in hand, draws close to the well with a grim, stony expression. Ishmael also aims a harpoon at the great whale, her face nearly tearing with an uncontainable joy. Some sinners tremble with fear, while others prepare themselves. All of it contained in a single reflective eye that stretched even beyond our peripheral vision. It just kind of like the well. Holy shit. Do you know what, Vantades? I was literally about to question that once this was over. I'll we'll talk about that in a minute. I was just thinking the exact same thing. I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. The giant harpoon soars across the black sky like a bolt of leather and strikes the pallid whale. Ishmael rose tall and alone, looking straight out beyond the speeding boat swaying bow, harpoon in her hand. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Compared to the old man's harpoon, the harpoon Ishmael heard was like a needle. But once struck, although its body was racked by immense, unbearable pain, the pallid wells more opened and the air itself began to vibrate. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Oh. Every sinner heard the old man's voice. Oh my god, this image is amazing. <coughs> Every sinner begins throwing with all their might. In desperation, as though death itself was our pursuit. As though it was our fate, our destiny to row. We were sucked into an endless abyss. And rapid vortex pulled us into the moors of the beast, tenebrous as as a well under a moonless sky. Oh, that's interesting that they've used that method. Yeah. Oh my god. There was a deep noise, and like a droplet in sea, we melted into the fathomless dark. Oh. 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 Is that where it's gonna leave it? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, that's so painful. Okay, five days. Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, I can't play this till next Saturday, but oh my god, wow. That man has an ankle looking cross. Yeah, it's so dope. The OC is so. Holy shit, that was amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow holy shit that oh my god that whole i cannot wait me neither oh mate that oh, i don't just do that that whole canto was just absolutely phenomenal look at the background it looks so good it just looks so good wow i love that that's gonna be the dungeon that's so cool oh yeah that scene that's that was probably the best scene that that scene was amazing i yes so someone mentioned a theory just a minute ago that i actually agree with was whether or not captain ahab was actually real or, or whether or not captain so Ish throwing harpoon and hurting the whale is more kind of lore relevant. Interesting. Same reaction I have when I finish the chapter. We're only at part two. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for part three. But it does make me curious. I don't think Ishmael's the literal captain, rather aggressive to acting like the captain. She hates so much problem seeing the whale, which is quite cool. I mean, although I do wonder whether or not, I mean, um, I don't know if this could be i don't think that would be a theory i mean because i was just gonna say maybe like something happened because obviously one of the theories was that ahab fused with the whale and was still alive that way but would it be kind of crazy if maybe ahab fused with ishmael and potentially this is like the other side of it that's coming out that's got this obsession with hunting down this like like especially with the reaction to the whale you can hear it is ish's va goes incredible they that was perfect sound design absolutely perfect sound design i feel like it's more her releasing a bold up feelings also a past kind of mess with her head I, ho I i hope so it's more than likely going to be that but i think also the theory about potentially that ishmael actually was the captain i mean we saw dante as her inner desires of killing the captain yeah but then potentially if like ishmael actually had like whether or not ishmael actually had a kind of not it could be split personality it could be something or somehow had like repressed that side or, or was in such trauma that she didn't realize that she was still the captain she kind of forgot potentially like she had to find someone to blame and sort of came up with something in her, in her mind i don't know but yeah call me ishmael i really love that theory it'd be cool right imagine ahab fused with ishmael oh my god if you look back at the scene her desire you can see the captain's white hair that looks suspiciously like hers yeah i mean maybe may maybe the, the tuning fork yeah maybe they somehow merged i mean it's just a theory but when she said she's seen the captain laughing it was her seeing her own reflection in the whale's eyes I don't know. I it's just it's just a guess. Oh shit, Vanti yeah, that's yeah, that's actually a good point. 
I personally don't like this theory because it weakens Ishmael as a character. All oh, the reason why she's going insane because of her captain side. End of story. Well, no, I, I don't think it's necessarily that, but I think it's the potentially the Ahab like part of Ahab was alive inside of her this whole time and I think it's about so all this time and all the things that she's been doing and trying to get vengeance as to whether or not she was trying to get vengeance on the because I think that that side would have been very much repressed and I feel like maybe seeing the whale would maybe bring that side that more obsessive side out I don't know I can see what you mean but no I, I quite like the theory but I, I do think that there is something strange I mean I think it could be metaphorical where it's just Ishmael basically becoming more obsessive like the like the captain and that she realizes that that's not who she wants to be I'm also hoping that we get to see Queer Quag at some point because they, they were mentioned before but they we haven't seen them yet so yeah I think maybe it's related very long so I'll just comment after the stream okay okay I mean, I'll be interested to read it I don't know how like PM but fair enough Fair enough, yeah. I hope it's like Sakuna. Imagine. Oh my god, <laughs> I really hope not. Okay, I'm not full subscribed this through yet, but it's definitely a good possibility. Yeah, I think we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, I think I think it's fair enough. The Ucorp Singularity is literally fusing stuff and even living beings. So maybe, I, I don't know, it'd be interesting. It's not perpetuating cycles of violence and becoming the thing she hated the most, but it'd be poor writing if it was just the same person perpetuating the same cycle of hate and loathing. Well, I guess it, it wouldn't just be that. It would be the fact that Ishmael... Well, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I, I, yeah, the way Ishmael talks, this part is not her, it's literally Ahab. It does kind of sound like her. I don't know. I think it would be interesting to see what happens because also as well, I mean, it could be that obviously if they separate, then, Ish then Ahab is actually still alive and then Ishmael can kind of get her vengeance or whether or not she kind of has to come to terms with what happened and that Ahab is now a part of her as well. So I don't know. There could be some interesting character growth there. Could be interesting to see Ishmael having in a conflict who the real Ishmael is. Was it previously her without purpose or this new her that's a phantom of the past? Yeah. Yeah, I like both. Her becoming obsessive like the captain is a good and her dissociating to the point with not recognizing the captain reflected in the whale's eyes as her is also good. I would accept either. I think we'll have to see what happens. But wow, this was amazing though. There was some really good lore unlo unlocked in here and some really good theories. This is this has been an absolute ride like holy shit i'm so excited for next week i think i'll stream this next saturday so i'll do i'll do the next one of this at the same date and time so 4 p.m i think we'll just do the same thing as we've done this week i think ahab will be the boss we fight in the will i hope so I, I hope we're also gonna get to see a bit more of being on the ship and obviously usually in the dungeon as well they usually do have people pop up from the past and references and all this stuff so i hope that we do get some of that i mean this has been amazing so far i can't imagine this third section being bad you know uh we use because the final fight would be against ishmael to keeps resurrecting oh well, that's an interesting idea infectious obsession with the whale spreading to the captain to the crew is thing in the books ishmael might be intoxicated with that feeling going through the whale on the golden bow i mean i want to see her reaction try to be careful be real careful with spoilers true sea shanty i'm hoping so i lose all faith in writing of ishmael's insanity isn't all her own but instead just someone else possessing her i don't think it would be that i i because the thing is is that i think ishmael is themselves i don't think it's a case of someone else possessing her and that's what it is because i don't think this is like ahab pretending to be ishmael or anything like that i don't think it's that at all but i think that potentially it could be that this person that we've known is someone that is actually the original Ishmael plus Ahab this whole like it could be that this uh, this person is actually just someone that is both of them and that's who they've become and this and Ishmael has to come to terms with these two sides of her to create who she is as a person I mean it's only a theory but yeah I don't think it's that oh she's only because of this because of Ahab because obviously hopefully we get to see what she was like before as well but yeah um, I really just like how you choose Ishmael for the fight for this middle. I really want this to solo with Sly Gregor. Oh, <laughs> you can go back and do it though, right? I like the idea of becoming who she hates the most. Would be explain why she stopped when she was about to stab Heathcliff with a weapon. Well, it was like the reflection thing again, wasn't it? She saw the same face Ahab had in the water. I agree. I agree. Okay, well, because we've been streaming for five and a half hours. <laughs> I am streaming again tomorrow. I am going to end the stream here. But wow, what an absolutely incredible canto. Like, my God, that was phenomenal. What amazing writing. I am so excited. So excited for the next part. Can't wait for the new Millie song for the next drop. No, same. I'm, I'm same again. I'm going to have to be super careful about spoilers. Um, I don't... Sorry, you might hear myself. Okay, that's fine. Um...
we'll have to be very very careful I'll, I'll be really really careful with spoilers obviously the last part of this will be coming out and then i'll be streaming it a couple of days later so yeah time to watch your 5 30 reaction i hope you enjoy but yes thank you so much all for hanging out i really appreciate it and i hope you've had a fun stream if you haven't already do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe that would be very much appreciated and also if you want to please do feel free to join the discord and i do also have a twitter so if you want to check those out please do so kind of possessing of this literal piece of Ahab in Ishmael instead of metaphor. Well, yeah, but it depends on the aspect of fusion, I guess. It's only, it's only a guess, isn't it? It's only a guess, though. Um, but yeah, so my next stream is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some Ark Knights account reviews. And then don't know if I'm going to stream on Monday. I haven't quite decided yet because um, I do want to do a reverse stream soon. But yes, so and hopefully next week we can also do a stream on um library of ruiner i need to have a look at everyone's nuggets so thank you so much everyone for being here i really appreciate it have a great rest of your evening and i will see you guys in the next stream hopefully or just around on stuff bye good night everyone good night